What sandwich? Sorry, what on a sandwich?
AWL. Hey, I just want to say really quick before we start, uh, first of all, if you're not following Duke, uh, Duke of Ash, on, on Twitch, uh, go do that. You gotta go do that. You gotta go fix that. Uh, uh, he's great. He does wonderful streams. He did all the art for all my emotes, and he's a wonderful guy. Uh, so go give him a follow if you're not. Number two, uh, if you didn't catch Duke's stream today already, you need to go and watch the VOD because it's maybe one of my favorite streams I've ever seen on this entire website. <laughs> it was so fucking good. Go check it out uh, at your earliest possible convenience. That's all. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get the, the, the final song playing right after this. And
I made a mistake and I took a big fucking swig of my drink uh, right as the song was ending. And then I was like, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta finish my drink. But, but then I realized if I did that, I'd probably choke and that would be awful. So I instead simply took my time. Uh, and the moral of the story is when you drink liquid, you should simply take your time. It's, it's not a very interesting moral, but I mean, it's, it's a useful one, I suppose. How's everyone doing today? <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. I hope your day's been kind to you. And if things haven't been so hot, well, I hope the stream tonight can help take your mind off things. It is Monday, October 25th. Thank you, uh, UFOlogy. Howdy, folks. Holly Jones, bonus BB. For the 11 month resub. I appreciate it. I woke up this morning and I was terrified, uh, which I guess is a clickbait sentence in and of itself. Thank you, PK something, for the 15 months. Holly's Roundup. Right here, every day. <laughs> Holly's Roundup. Come on, it's time to play. Bad guys go running. Whenever she's in town, she's the rootinest, tootinest, shootinest, hootinest cowgirl around. Awesome. Holly's Roundup. Thank you for the 15 months. I appreciate it. I woke up this morning and I was terrified. Um, because I had slept in a little longer than I wanted to, and then I just kind of st stayed a while in bed because it was nice and warm and comfy, and that was awesome. And then I was like, man, I should probably get out of bed soon. What time is it? What day is it? And I was like, I think it's Monday? I'm pretty sure it's Monday. And I picked up my phone to make sure, and my most recent notification on my phone was from an early morning Twitch stream going live, saying something along the lines of, like, uh... Uh, it's, it's Wild Wednesday once again, join us for another stream. And I was just looking at it like, what happened to Monday and Tuesday? Uh, it turns out they just forgot to update their, their going live message. Uh, but it fucking scared my guts clean out of me. <laughs> as soon as you did the first Hypnospace stream, I finally bought it and played through it. Nice! And oh my god, you have not seen anything yet. This game does things I never could have expected. I can't wait to watch you experience it, BWL. Awesome! <laughs> That's exciting. Thank you for the seven month resub. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's been a while since our last Hypnospace stream. Just because, you know, other stuff got in the way, as, as it tends to happen in life. Um. I uh, will preface this by saying I'm not sure how long tonight's stream is going to be. It's probably not going to be super long, and it's probably not going to be as long as my first Hypnospace stream was, uh, because I uh, did a workout today after, uh, quite frankly, being too tired and too depressed to really do any sort of serious workout for the past uh, week and a bit. And so today I felt up to going back into it full swing, uh, but now I'm kind of tired. <laughs> so... Uh, probably not going to be like a, like a five to six hour affair, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do a bit. And I say this full well, knowing, uh, <laughs> as fucking Dominic just pointed out in chat, every, basically every single time I've said, oh, this stream isn't going to be too long of a stream. Oh, this stream isn't going to go super long. I do accidentally end up doing like a six to seven hour stream. So, uh, <laughs> We'll see, I guess, but, uh, you know, I'm just, just saying, uh, the energy levels, they're, 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 they're not so, as high as I'd like to be today, uh, so, this is either gonna be, like, a three-hour stream or a 20-hour stream, we'll see, knowing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Kimmy, for the seven month three sub. Hello, Miss Holly. I hope you have a gay old time on the hypnospace. I will. Make sure you don't give away personal information while you are asleep. I never do. Transgender pride, Holly Tones love. Thank you for the seven months of support. I really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing some hypnospace today. I need to remember how to play this video game and remember where I was last time I played. But uh, I think I got some things that I want to do. I want to um, go back and get rid of a couple gumshoe goopers. Uh, I want to uh, buy and download a fun little sticker add-on pack, stuff like that. Um, I think I did leave a note in-game, yeah, so I can also just check that out, see what else we wrote down there. It was probably a couple of things. It was pretty smart of me, in retrospect, to write that down. Thank you. You're at the party for the 14-month resub. 14. That is seven times two. I'm no mathematician, Toad. No, that's right. Seven times two is 14. 
Do I have any hot omelet tips? Uh, I mean, yeah, you're 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 in the you're in the right ballpark there. Generally, you want to eat your omelet hot. Uh, I've never been super keen on cold eggs unless it's like a like a hard boiled egg, and even then, I prefer it to be kind of warm. Um, omelets are good because you can basically do fucking anything with them. Uh, consider that uh. Messing up a different type of egg is still fairly easy to try and transition it into some kind of omelette. And messing up an omelette is pretty easy to transition it to some kind of scrambled egg. So, uh... Un unless you're specifically trying to make a French omelette, I'd say don't get, don't get too fussed about trying to do any specific thing with it. Uh, and also, basically anything could go in an omelette as long as you think it would go well together. Like, I don't know, a bit of cheese, a bit of onion, uh, some nice herbs... Uh, a bit of ham or mushroom or something like that. Tomato goes pretty well with it too. You know, you can either get a, a nice meaty, uh, less liquidy slice of tomato in there, or you could like maybe stew it down and cook it down a little bit and have that as a sauce on it. You could you could do basically anything. Um, one thing I've heard some people do is they take a bit of goat cheese, mix it in with a bit of honey, have that in the omelet. That's apparently real good. That sounds like that's up your wheelhouse. Give that a try. I mean, you do need goat cheese and honey to do it, but... <laughs> I can Nelcromancer Sorry, for the 18 months. Cops. I appreciate that. And here comes another one before I say some more from Lesbian Bug. With the 8-month resub. Thank you very much. So excited for more Hypnospace. Me too. This is my favorite game ever, and I'm real happy to be here for this stream. Sweet eggs are a genre that a lot of people have not experienced. The sweet goes, like, really well with eggs. Eggs in general, I feel like you can make them work with, like, basically any flavor profile, as long as you decide just not to get too, like, whack with it and, like, mix stuff that doesn't work well together. But, like, you could say that about any food, then. Like... Egg, eggs is good with a lot of stuff. Egg, eggs can go real well with a lot of stuff. Uh, I think it's in, like, Japan they tend to do, like, eggs that are, like, a little bit sweeter, but also they add, like, like, like stuff like soy sauce and dashi to make it, like, uh, like, also, like, more, like, savory on top of that. I've never tried it myself, but it sounds really good. Uh, I have had peanut butter and eggs before. It's, it's okay, actually. Uh, like, if you get, like, a... This was something I liked to do as a kid, uh, for some reason, was I would I would have, like, a, an omelette with basically just, like, cheese in it, and then I would put, like, slices of it on top of, like, a piece of toast with peanut butter, and I liked that. I haven't tried that in, like, years, but I remember liking that. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's my eggs. Um, my eggs tangent. Egg and marmalade is pretty okay. I've never thought to do that, but I can see that, like, working, like... Sweet, like, fruit preserves go well with a lot of different, like, savory things. It's, it's, it's a good combo. It's a good combo. I could, I could see that maybe working. I've never tried it. I don't know if I'd go out of my way to make it myself, but I could see it working. Uh, and again, I'm not really super picky as far as food goes. I'm not fussed about much anything. Uh, oh, yeah, scrambled eggs also go really good with maple syrup. That's like a Quebecois fucking classic. That's good. It's good. Uh, anyways, you know, if, <laughs> if you, I'm desperately like scrambling for a segue here, uh, scrambling like eggs. And, you know, if you're liking the streams, and you're liking what, what we put on the table here, you know, not just like our, our game, our game playthroughs and our comedy stuff, but our evidently long winded discussion about how you can cook and eat eggs. Hey, if you're liking that and you're looking for ways to support what we do here, there's plenty of options for that. <laughs> if you want to go the extra mile, go the financial route. Uh, you can, you can always, you can subscribe to the channel, that's a reoccurring monthly fee, gets you some fun little emotes, you can give out gift subs, you can, uh, send bits, those get added on to my monthly Twitch payout, uh, but if, the, 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 the best bang for your buck, I reckon, uh, as far as, like, making sure I get, like, the biggest cut of it, thank you, Ultra Mario 1998. Sort of like this. Sort of like that! Thank you for the three-month resub, I appreciate that. Uh, you can always tip directly through Streamlabs and PayPal. Uh, that goes to my wallet right away, and I tend to get a, a bigger cut of that. Unless it's like a super, super small denomination, which is a recent change they made that I'm still a bit fussed about. But, you know, what can you do? That's that's just kind of how it goes when you try and engage with the systems that are in place nowadays. Uh, but yeah, uh, any and all financial support is very greatly appreciated. 
Uh, it's never mandatory. Don't feel like you gotta. Uh, you're under no obligation to pay me for any of this. Uh, but, you know, if you like what we do here, if it's brought you any modicum of joy, uh, and if you've, got, if you've got the means, it's very much appreciated. Skink name of Bubba took a huge dump in his water dish. <laughs> Dubby. <laughs> Why did he do that? Why did he do that? <laughs> Great. Thank you, Briskles, for the four month reset. I appreciate that. Uh, other ways you can support the stream that don't involve your money, you know, you can always share posts uh, on social media, on Twitter about it. You can tell a friend. If there's any clips you like, you can, you can take those and share those around. Uh, stuff like that. And, you know, if you like what we're doing here and you've got the time, I reckon tuning on in, enjoying the stream, whether you're, you're, you're engaging with the chat or just lurking, uh, no matter what, I reckon that's support in and of itself. So thank you all very much for taking time out of your busy day to spend it here with us. Uh, you can join the Discord if you want, exclamation point Discord for more. If you want to post fan art for the streams, you can either post that in the Discord or on Twitter. I'll give it a look after the stream. If I have the energy, I usually tend to. Um, what else did I want to say? Uh, it's going to be a fairly packed stream week this week. I'm doing stuff basically Monday through Friday. Uh, I'm not doing anything on the weekends because, A, uh, this week uh, uh, there are some, some, some Halloween-related plans from a bunch of friends of mine. And so I kind of wanted to give them the floor to do that because I didn't really have any specific ideas of my own for Halloween stuff. And B, uh, I kind of want to try focusing a little more on doing like streams on weekday nights. And then that way I have like weekends free so that I can like spend more time with friends and loved ones. <laughs> Which is a bit of a wild concept, but it turns out when uh, the majority of the world is working like a nine to five weekday job, uh, weekends are the time they tend to have most free. So... Yeah, I figured I'd give that a try. See how that goes for the next couple of weeks. Thank you, Mango Cubes, for the 14 month resub. Wahoo. Hi, smile. Hi, smile! Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Not to say, like, I won't ever do a weekend stream. Like, it'll happen every now and then, but, like, I, 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 I'm gonna see how we go with the focus trying to be, like, on, on weekdays instead. And we'll, we'll, you know, we'll see how I feel about it. That sort of stuff. That's the thing I like about see, being self-employed, is I get to play around with my own schedule and see what works best for, for, for me for various reasons. Nice. Uh, I don't remember what else I was going to say. I don't think it was terribly important. Um, I pet my cat today. Thank you, Sarkinoth, for the 18-month resub. Hypnotic space criminal. I uh, reckon we can get started. I'm gonna tab over. Oh shit, thank you, maybe Datapod, for the $20. Today I found out that a nearby restaurant that I really like, which has been there for literally my entire life, is closing down soon. Oh no! So I'm gonna head over there for the last time in 15 minutes or so, but I'll definitely watch the VOD when I get home. Oh man, that's a bummer. That's, that's, that's always a suck when that happens. I hope you enjoy. I was going to say your last meal, but that's a little more grim than I intended. I hope you enjoy that meal there. Uh, and thank you for the tip. That's very generous of you. I, there was a restaurant, uh, that I really, really like in town that I thought, uh, was like shut down forever because of COVID. Uh, but they like managed to reopen like recently after being like out of commission and closed for like over a year and i got like i got like a fucking huge wonton soup from them and oh god it was great oh it was life-changing you ever just eat a soup that's very good you ever just eat a soup that's very good it's the good stuff uh i i'm gonna start the game now and uh, i will get a discord side stream up in case any friends decide to join us tonight while we're going. Uh, but let's get the game started. Yeah, a favorite restaurant having to close down is always real, real sad.
God, I love that startup song. I saw someone ask when I'm going to be doing a uh, soup tier list stream. Probably never, just because I don't really fuck with tier lists. Oh yeah, I forgot there's different music for the different files. I guess for like different points that you are at in the game, or maybe based on what theme you have picked or something. Awesome. <laughs> and let me get uh, that Discord stream up just in case anyone does decide to join us later. Uh... It's time to ground Zane. It's time to ground Zane. It's time to send that little shit to boot camp. <laughs> I don't think that's what's going on, but <laughs> thanks for the tip. I appreciate it. Uh... Settings. But yeah, I don't really mess with, uh, with, with, like, tier list related stuff very much just because, like, uh, generally it's a recipe for disaster as far as people getting really shitty about their opinions goes. Uh, but also, I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm just not super into, like, what's the, we gotta make sure one thing is, like, the better one out of all these. It's just, I don't know, I just like a lot of things. I like lots of stuff. Uh, let's change to Woodland Lodge. <laughs> uh, nice. Um, maybe we'll keep sound effects on for now. Okay. <laughs> so, um... Only buy a hamster if you can afford one. Animals are not toys, they're real. The poo is a toy, though. Um, why are these fish on my desktop? November 5th, 1999, 11.47pm, I fix it. More teen zone pages to see, and maybe we can look for that bad cash. Thanks, Holly, don't forget it. Uh, also, what I wanted to also do was... Um, where's the browser? Where, which one's the browser again? <laughs> wanted to go back to uh, Good Time Valley. Because, um, we got some gumshoe goopers that are still on the loose here. So, um, you know, we gotta, we, 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 we gotta try and keep the peace. We gotta try and keep the internet safe is the thing. And listen, I, I know, I know this isn't necessarily the move that's going to make everyone happy, but... Y you gotta understand. Y you gotta understand. I've I've made a couple mistakes in some of my moderation decisions. If if I don't like try and get right by their standards, I'm I'm out. They're gonna boot me out. This is gonna be no more hypnospace for me. Like you think I can afford one of these headsets? This is the only way I could get one. So it's 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 very sad, but it has to happen. Uh, how do I report something? <laughs> Anyways, it's time to get this fucking fish. <laughs> <laughs> Content infringement. You got trouble. <laughs> Gumshoe Goopers days are numbered. This town ain't big enough for the two of us, Gooper. We got trouble. We got trouble. Oh no! Watch out, Gumshoe! Banned. <laughs> the boy in the building is stuck and Gumshoe Gooper hears him yell, Help! and calls 911. The boy is calling for help, uh, because of, uh, 
completely unlicensed usage of Gumshoe Gooper's uh, likeness online. <laughs> That's why the boy was sad. We're helping him. We got trouble. This is awesome. <laughs> Gumshoe Gooper does not try to play with a dog all by himself, even if it is nice. <laughs> We got trouble. Okay, maybe one gumshoe can stay. Maybe one gumshoe is allowed. Oh god, it's a bag full of knives! We got, we, we're not allowed to keep that! Gumshoe Gupe is a fucking cop. He would support this corporate bootlegger. <laughs> and we can't fill the children's brains with ideas about your heroes walking around with bags full of knives. That's awful, that's evil! We got trouble. The end. I feel good about that. I feel so... So, so good about that. We're, we're keeping the internet safe. Good fucking riddance, Scumshoe Cooper. <laughs> you got trouble. Have you ever heard of an internet before? I have. Sounds tasty. <laughs> you really shouldn't be biting into it, though. Thank you, Healing Mind, for the nine month resub. I appreciate that. I want to see the fish cock twink obliterated. Good news. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd call him a twink. <laughs> It's like calling a Mickey Mouse a twink. I'm not so sure about that one. <laughs> Thank you, Zoda Pop Sergeant, for the 15 months. Gooper identified. Get his ass. When I see Gumshoe Gooper, it is on sight. On sight. No matter what. <laughs> uh, the HSPD security team will verify all related violations and review Abby Wright's 58's activity to decide if further action is necessary. If this flagging relates to one of your assigned cases, you may now close it. <laughs> okay. Well. It's, uh, it's a real shame that it had to come to this Abby Wright's, but, uh, You know the rules. Thank you, Seller Yeller, for the 13 months. It no space calls law. Oh, no, 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 no. The closest thing we got to that is Granny Cream. I'll rise for the national anthem. With the ice cream. Freeze it up, cool, you can see it on your screen. Put it in your microwave, make it real hot like a soup or a dip. We call it heat and sip. Very tasty and healthy too. Granny Cream's hot butter ice cream. Thank you, Granny. Much appreciated. Ah. Terry's General Store. Now this is what I was forgetting. We got some downloads to check out. Terry's Halloween stickers get for cheap before they go bye-bye. Halloween stickers come to Terry's Scary Eye, a program for hypnospace that shows a scary eye and make things underneath it come to life in a scary way. Disclaimer, I did not make Terry's scary eye. I found it for free on Hypnospace, not mine. <laughs> I do like rebranding a bit of freeware as, uh, this is my freeware you can download. By the way, disclaimer, I did not make it. I just found it. I own nothing. I do not own anything. Please download my software. <laughs> we made a fucking killing. Keeping the internet safe from Gumshoe Gooper? I can totally afford this Halloween sticker and scary eye pack. <laughs> Downloading 11 files. Here come the files. Let's check out these downloads. Oh no, this is just saying there's downloads. Never mind. Uh -huh. Ah, but we got these. Here's some random stickers. Click the purchase buttons to download. I don't think I saw this last time. <laughs> you know I gotta get these, though. 
Downloading V stick computer. Downloading V stick computer. Colum. Uranus. Downloading V stick Uranus. Skull. Downloading V stick skull. Uh, if, if any of y'all got enough points for a skull in chat, now's a great time to post them. Uh, silver Laurel. Downloading V stick laurels is silver. Gold Laurel. Downloading V stick laurels gold. <laughs> Holy shit, there comes two skulls Orbzoa and Hydrolaricon. Enjoy your new skulls. And Cake Chups, enjoy your new skull. <laughs> and Synthetic Witch and Prototype 777, enjoy your new skulls. And Shakespeare. <laughs> Downloading V stick Shakespeare. <laughs> Smooth Willis, enjoy your new skull. Flamingo. <laughs> Downloading V stick Flamingo. Cicada Jar, fishy artist, enjoy your new skulls. <laughs> Cat Tanker is catfish. Senor Bob, enjoy your new skulls. I'm buying another. <laughs> Downloading V stick skull. One. Having Holly's allowed to have two skulls is a bit of a treat. Is as a bit of as a bit of a goodie. So that was, I clicked on that. Where does this go? Uh, outdoors sticker packs! And now, my new pack. The mother of all sticker and desktop wallpaper packs, the forest pack. Wow, what a thing of beauty. Are subtitles built in or can you turn them off? They're built in. They're built in because it's like easier for the sake of YouTube VODs for people that, that like would be helped out by having them there. Decorate your desktop with these stickers and a new background by artist Alan Obi, only 22 HC. Download the Garden Flower sticker pack and download the Jungle sticker pack. All packs copyright Terry. <laughs> My butt. Downloading 13 files. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> Awesome. Let's get this. Downloading nine files. Awesome. Downloading five files. Great. Download butt garden. F Wait, all butts copyright Terry? What? Why does it say butts everywhere? But what a thing but beauty. But Huh. Is that Is that normal? Is that good? Is that supposed to look like that? That's probably fine. That's probably fine. That's probably fine. Thanks to your head, Greg, for the help on getting my HypnoCoin butts. Click to go, but his helpful WITW page. This seems normal. More stickers coming soon, by the way. We do not accept Kappa Cash. It is a scam. It all seems normal. Oh, huh, it's changing here too, is it? Interesting. Hmm. That's, uh... I just noticed up here at the top of the browser it says butts as well. Listed zones assigned to butts. Damn, we gotta go to Butts Butt Central. Butts butt. <laughs> Where was uh, uh the antivirus? This seems like a bit of a security flaw that you can download something and it instantly runs an executable. Hmm. Hmm. That seems like a bit of a security concern. I guess if I go to HS Downloads, it'd be there. Let's see. Uh, April the Angelic Hamster, Professor Helper. 
Hmm. Let's see. It's it's definitely not Professor Helper, I know that much. Okay. Randy's scam watch, I think, would told us something about that. Uh how do I search for Randy Scam Watch? <laughs> Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is awesome. Maybe we don't want to get this fixed. Offering downloads that have viruses in them. Do not download his sticker or background packs. Ah. Uh. So glad to join when all that's happening is fucked. Ah, uh, I see. Well. I guess we gotta look for Hypnokir then. That's no good. I, I need those. Meh. I need those. <laughs> Let's go look that up now. Thank you, Zerkwood, for the 16 month resub. I got this game to watch it stream and it rules smile. Hell yeah. And thank you as well. I don't think I shouted it out. Thank you, the Roxy B, for the 17 month resub. I appreciate that. There we go. Hypno gear. Protect yourself and your butts. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we can afford uh, the plus option. Certainly can't get uh, the pro yet. <laughs> Settings, quick switch, app menu, <laughs> downloads. Uh... <laughs> wow, that was so cool. It downloaded Kappa Cash for us. We've got this you got trouble. Uh, error. HFE00SAM. Encrypted file. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember I got- I saw- read something about that last time, didn't I? Can't open those. Uh, there's our HypnoCure setup. Hmm. It's a shame we can't access Terry's Scary Eye. It's a nice forest. It's a nice tree. It's very nice. It's so pretty. I don't know, I think it was worth almost roasting my my uh my my, my corporate mandated hardware uh just to get these pretty stickers. I'd say that was Hypnocoin well spent. Let's uh let's run that hypno cure though. Virus detected. For your safety, please open hypno cure and click cure me now. Uh alright. Infection alerts are active, cure My me. butt feels much better. You got trouble. Great. <laughs> Clean the following viruses from your system. Butts disease and the hunger. Dude. Okay. <laughs> Do I still get to keep the stickers? I still get to keep the stickers. Dude. Fucking awesome. Okay. And I get to keep whatever the scary eye is. We got trouble. I, I was thinking maybe that was the virus and the, the scary things that it would make you see were the viruses, but... Dude. I mean, I guess it's just something encrypted, so... Hmm. Uh, my desktop is a bit of a mess. That's, uh, not great. I suppose we can fix that. It's not the end of the world. Uh, our little pets menu. <laughs> right, we don't have any pets right now. Uh, this, this, uh, I keep the poopy, this, 
Oh, that squisher's there. That's fine. Uh. How do I get this son of a bitch off my screen? How do I- how, how do I get him out of here? I can make him bigger or smaller. There we go. Awesome. And then we have a snack for our squisher. Uh... Do we have other icons? I thought we had other icons. Maybe they went into the chest? Ah, there we go. Uh... Right, because the chest was eating them, wasn't it? Forgot about that. We got yeah. trouble. Your launcher is hungry. Man, it really was, wasn't it? <laughs> and we got this still running. Uh -oh. oh, and we really do just have to pay the full four ninety nine for the upgrade, huh? Well, I guess we can. I guess we can get that upgrade later. We're not. We're not really a developer, and we're certainly not an expert yet. But uh. I mean, I guess HypnoCoin also isn't, like, real actual currency, so it doesn't matter too much, but... Man. That's too bad, huh? So let's go take a look at our cases. <laughs> we dealt with, uh, Gumshoe Gooper. We got Teentopia Harassment. I'll keep this open in case any more harassment happens later. Uh, and now... Kappa Cash Extra Legal Commerce. This is a notice that the Kappa Cash payment system is considered extra legal commerce and has been added to our blacklist. Look through your assigned zones for at least four, possibly more possible violations, and utilize your enforcement tool to check them. Damn. Noted. Uh, Damn. And there was still stuff. I, I saw what the dumpster was, so uh, I can just delete this. Where is... there we go. This is our... We got trouble. This is our recycle bin. Dude. Okay. So I'll put uh, the gumshoe in there. Um, I'll keep this as a grim reminder. Uh, this is deadly important. I no longer wish to see Kappa Cash on my screen. Uh, I like this rotating symbol, though, so I keep that there. Uh, hmm. Dude. Well, I think she likes having a little version of herself, so I'll keep that there for her. Uh... Yeah, I suppose that's a happy desktop right now. I thought I could click on the little guy. Cure me. Cure me. Cure me. Cure me. They're desperate. Turn off. They're desperate. Cure me. Turn off. Cure me. Upgrade. Only buy a hamster if you can afford one. Animals are not toys, they're real. The POO is toy, though. It doesn't know how to say poo! It doesn't know how to say poo! <laughs> Great. Alright. So I had more to see in Teentopia. I put a skull there. I forgot about that. We've got... Uh, Randy's Dino World... Squishers World, Squishers, etc, etc. Let's check out Randy's Dino World. Enter your page to script. This is about dinosaurs by Randy. Should hear. Randy's Dino World. I am eight years old in third grade. Dinosaurs rule. This is the fastest dinosaur in the whole world. T-Rex, Stegosaurus, Triceratops, Pterodactyl, Spinosaurus, and many, many more. None of these uh, are links that you can click on. And also, I don't think there's a way... My mom put my age wrong. <laughs> my mom put my age wrong. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Randy Tucker said 13 years old. Oh, wait, no. As in... Randy's not actually 13 years old, he's actually 8. That's... 
I mean, I would like to be able to report that, but that's not a, like I I've tried reporting other people for being too young, and that didn't work. That didn't do anything. Which is sets a worrying precedent for you know their moderation standards. But I mean, hey, they pay me for my gumshoes, so this is the fastest dinosaur in the whole world. These are the cavemen. <laughs> This is them! <laughs> Hi, Brady. Yes, this is the woman who ate chickpeas before the stream. This is she. <laughs> it's Pizza Dancesaurus! Oh, that's my favorite dinosaur. Thank you, Catboy Mute Geisler, for the three month reset. Love this game less than three. Hell yeah! Where does cavemen lead to? Just Randy's Dino World. Spinosaurus. Prehistoric. Pterodactyl. Uh, Triveratops. Stegosaurus. T Rex. Dinosaurs and template. <laughs> they they included just the default guys in the template <laughs> as as the cavemen on their site. That's really cute. Content infringement, harassment, illegal or profane, malicious software, extra legal commerce. Yeah, we can't report this person for being underage. Also, wait! Wait, malicious content. Um. Hmm. I don't know which one it was that gave me a virus, though. Is the problem. And you can't just report a page in general. It's It's gotta be, like... Trouble. There we go. Well done. Uh, do do all of them give a virus? You got trouble. No. Okay. How's about this one? Was or was it maybe just that one? Got trouble. No, okay, so it was just that one. Okay. Well, you know, just uh, be a little more careful about what you got on the internet there, Terry. Utopia. Sometimes you think you're just handing out innocent screensavers. Sometimes you accidentally propagate a butt virus. Uh, that's what my doctor... I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> Changed my mind. <sighs> this is Shantia Cook's page. Squish Kid 2000. 13 years old. From Slidell. La. <laughs> Welcome to Squisher's World. Welcome to Squisher's World. Welcome to Squisher's World. I love Squish. I collected all Squishers, but not for Sparklies. Sparklies are hard to get because they almost never in Squisher packs. If you have a Sparkly, send me a message and I trade with you. 
<laughs> Squisher's champion badge. That's cute. This hypnospace citizen is still on their free trial period. Subscribing will remove this ad. I, I, for some, like, I thought this person just managed to nab, like, the official Squishers URL, uh, because the, the thing here was named Squishers World, but this is Squish Kid. This is just some kid who's really fanatical about Squishers and that rules. You've got to collect them all. Look at all these different Squishers you can get. 99 years old. <laughs> the Squisher's story. After an intergalactic war in a distant galaxy, the Squisherians preserved the wildlife on their now destroyed planet by sending them to Earth in Squish capsules. It is now the job of a special group of heroic Earth teens to collect and preserve these rare, powerful creatures. Are you up to the task? Yeah, I do like, uh, Squ Squisher's Kid just having, like, a MIDI ripoff of this song instead of just, like, nabbing the official theme. Are you a real Squisher's whiz kid? Downloading Squisher's 12. You Are got you... Hypno Mail. I think I got all the Squishers, because they just got an achievement called Squished. Are you a real Squishers whiz kid? After trading them with friends during the day, plug into Hypnospace and participated in the new Hypnospace Squishers quest game. The Squishers have been let loose and are hiding on various pages around Hypnospace. Click on them when you find them to collect them. Can you collect them all? Squishers above this line are not part of Squishers quest. Are not part Squishers quest. <laughs> Sorry, Squishers Quest players. The Squishers above would be too easy. Official Hypnospace partner brand. Gamers only. Uh, we've got Zane and Monarch. Marked as gamers only. <laughs> Great. So we've got the official portable that you can play Squishers on. Uh, April the Angelic Hamster, which is a game. Uh, the Squishers site. I d yeah, I do deeply enjoy that the top result for gamers only is the hamster that took a fat fucking dump on my desktop. And, and Zane. I forgot about this! Whoever ratted out my secret page, watch out. I know who you are and I'm flipping out right now. God. <laughs> <laughs> Zane is so fucking funny. <laughs> those those rotating gun gifts are gonna get me someday. You're, you're gonna find me uh, plugged full of holes, and the only evidence is gonna be like a bit of JPEG artifact near my body, and you'll all you'll all gonna know who did it. Oh, this just leads to to the game chat page. Okay. We did get an email. <laughs> This is rotating. Oh yeah, there we K. Oh shit, we got um, we got advanced look into case four by accident. <laughs> Great. Uh, best deals Terry's been reported for malicious software in the Zen Good Time Valley. You found these violations before being assigned a case for them. Close this case at your discretion. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know that could happen. Uh, we still do have to look for this. Uh, let's look at our inbox. <laughs> Uh, you found all ten squishers. Here's your reward. Hey there, Holly. Looks like you just found your... Looks like you just found your all ten hidden squishers creatures. Wow! You are truly a squishers hero. Your reward, the official squishers rap music video, is attached to this message. Congratulations! I, I do really appreciate all of the weird typos that I keep finding in the official squishers media. Downloading squisher trap. Squisher trap?! <laughs> I like the way the TTS says that. Let's give it a listen. Why don't we? Here's a list of squishers, numbers one through twenty four. Ask your mom or dad to buy the game. And 
discover even more. 0023 is a robot. Arca slops an untamed beast. Barfly buzzes, bleels an eel, and dreadnoughts undeceased. Gar Blue is made of trash, and Glow Polly is digital 3D. Glow Yo is a small fry, goose to ghost guy. His slime hangs in the trees. Icky Goo has the power to hypnotize. Lika's hunt at night with glowing eyes. 11 down, 13 to go. It squishes time. Come on, let's go. This fucking rules. Bear Merc lives underneath the sea. Mole B is rotten food. Mushy's the most famous squisher cat because it's so dang cute. Oozerf is cool. Pedro drools. And Plasmimon makes me spooked. Turt Hole turns into Shell Slop while Shamblock shambles around. Slurath is wacky. Yoki's a chick. And Yucky makes beeping sounds. Ha ha! Great reward. <laughs> oh god, it's sleeping. No! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> god, I just... <laughs> I appreciate the dedication to not just, like... Yeah, here's our like fake 1990s uh, collect all the different the different monsters in it type of game. They also made a shitty rap for it, and it rules. It's so good. It's so good. Why did that remind you so hard of the DK rap? I don't know. I mean, it was mostly angling for the Poke rap. <laughs> it's D D DK rap is is a different type of video game rap for me. Uh. Does Holly know about Granny Cream? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, do you mean... Do you, do you mean... Do you mean this Granny Cream? Whose page I visited not only two times, but three times? Granny cream, some butter ice cream. Yeah, I've heard of it. <laughs> it, it the, the rap does have more flow than the Poke rap. That is true. <laughs> that is true. I cannot deny that. That's what we've not looked at. We've not looked at Tim Again. Tim Again. Which does link to here because of uh, Digital Parasite Reborn, which was worked on by Tim Again. Ah, but you can click on that. Tim again an entrance. You probably don't belong here. If you require entertainment, read the sad tales of the digital parasites. Who will watch the Watchmen? Only those with true sight may enter. Huh. I wonder if that's... somehow related <laughs> to, um... Where's downloads? Where's downloads? I wonder if that's somehow related to, to the eye thing, which I can't run. You got trouble. HFE00SAM. I, I had seen a list of those somewhere. Uh, I don't have anything else here. Oh, right, it's just back to here. I've already been here, though. This loop's funny. Oh, I see. It bumps you back up over time. Pages that used to do stuff like that terrified me when I was younger. Let's see. Uh, yes, one of the messages did say, Hello, pig. <laughs> yes, it did. Uh, so, I... Meh. <laughs> 
Okay. What was, what was, let's see, I could see <laughs> there. We got trouble. Okay, uh, encrypted file. I could look up encrypted, or I could look up HFE00SAM. Uh, let's try. The results for that, or I could look up... Uh, Gearhead Gray. HFE00SAM. File encrypted with sandwich compression slash encryption. Uh, encrypted it just leads to there. Uh, sandwich. Sandwich encryption info. Sandwich encryption. Which files do you need protection? To protect it. Uh, unofficial Samwich Encryption Hypnospace Info page by Gearhead Greg. What is Samwich Encryption? Ever seen a file that looks like this? That's a Samwitched file. Samwich Encryption is a file encryption and compression tool made by Sam Parker, rest in peace, and Roddy Wall, who now works at Merchantsoft in 1995 for Flamingo S. Why Samwich a file? Many reasons. Smaller file sizes. Protect files from the, quote, mindless masses. Because it wasn't a mainstream commercial product, only elite power users even know about sandwiching files. This has led to a few less than savory uses of the software, but most sandwich users are good and honest folk who have nothing to hide. Sam Parker. Only this page. Damn, rest in peace to Sam Parker, then. Well, thank you, Roddy Wall, for keeping it up. Have I been to Roddy Wall's page? Uh, is that? No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't Noble Warlock. That was. That was Alan Reynolds. Uh, hmm. Maybe there's just not a page about this guy right now that we can access at least. Uh, wait. No, this is Gus Parker's Temple of Serenity different. And then there's the bazaar, which seems to be associated. That's in the, right, the open eye, which I haven't really, really been to yet, so we can look at that more later. Uh, Samwich and HypnoS? While Samwich isn't officially supported by HypnoS, there may be a way to decrypt locked Samwich files. You'll have to chit-chat me for more information. Roddy Wall has meant, well, we, but we can't chit chat them because we're because we're an enforcer. Okay, so this is a puzzle we gotta solve then. Roddy Wall, as mentioned above, he helped invent Sam Witch. May also be able to help. He's currently working on Hypnospace's virtual petscape and has a page in Hypnospace. Huh. Um, and I've got and I've got an idea here which I can't capitalize on yet. And no one say anything, because I know someone hearing me doing this is probably just going to go, Oh, uh, huh, I don't know, that sure is a weird idea, isn't it, Holly, huh? And if you do that, uh, the mods are going to ban you. Uh, but, because <laughs> I can't fucking stand that shit. But what I'm wondering here is, we, we fed some files to our little hamster, and she took a poop on the desktop. What if when we feed her a sandwich compressed file, she poops out the uncompressed one? Because you're giving her food. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, everyone winking is just because of the, the little winky face at the end here. That's why everyone's doing it. <laughs> okay, so let's make a note. Uh, where is the notes? Okay, uh... Dude, w way if we feed a sandwiched file to the uh, hamster, maybe it uncompresses? Question mark. I, I guess we'll see you later <laughs> when I can afford. Uh, when I can afford that. <laughs> the one page with a result for Burger. I I do really like that the, you have the in-game like little notes thing that you can write notes on. I really like doing that. Right, encryption, locked files. Uh, 
sandwich, encryption, encryption, uh, Roddy Wall, which we already looked at. But yeah, uh, Roddy Wall is working on virtual pets. Gamers only. <laughs> Ah, we just barely can't afford it. We also would need more money to be able to afford food for her, so... Let's see, virtual pet tits. If we get, uh, 62, then I can afford the auto feeder and uh, the hamster. Thank you, Toby.web, for the 13-month resum. I appreciate it. We'll, we'll come back, for April. Uh, also, yeah. Feeding your pets icons and files that aren't pet food is not advised. Do not feed your pet excrement. Poop. So, um... I, 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 I feel like, and this is probably just my, like, adventure game puzzle gamer brain, like, firing on all cylinders here. I, I feel like it's hinting at me that I should try and feed it the special sandwich file. <laughs> so, we'll try that later. We'll try that later. Okay, I do really like the music here. You Matter by Jeff. I am excited for when I beat uh, the game and I can just listen to the whole soundtrack without having to worry about accidentally stumbling onto spoilers. Because uh, I really like the music in this game so far. I could also feed April a skull, that's true. Um, let's see, I want to put a star here because I want to remember these error messages. We have unrecognized file type, which I, I like that the error code for unrecognized file is just, what? What? <laughs> uh, can't use stuff with enforcer. Hardware's been damaged. Add a memory. Given how we've seen a couple of these, I feel like all of these are going to show up at some point. Which makes me think maybe this is going to happen at the end of the game or something. I guess we'll see. Thank you, Gragnack, for giving out that gift sub. That's awful generous of you. Oh, there's just a link here that you can go to. Okay. What in the world is Hypnospace? Hypnospace is the first consumer-focused sleep time networking service. It is based on NetSettler, an internet service started by Merchantsoft, which allowed users to create pages and add them to a large public directory. Merchantsoft tries to market Hypnospace as a big technological step up from NetSettler, but it's almost exactly the same system. The largest difference, sleep time hardware aside, is Hypnospace's new official zones. Uh, yeah, it, it is interesting that, like, even though Sandwich, like, isn't officially supported, uh, instead of just saying it's unrecognized, it gives you a specific, like, it's, it's encrypted, which... I wonder if that, given what we've just seen here about, like, NetSettler, I wonder if that's saying the fact that, like, they, like, really were just kind of using the skeleton of NetSettler to build up uh, Hypnospace, like, kind of just directly taking the word, the, the work they had there and put into this. That's interesting. That's, I, I wonder if that's going to end up being the case. Uh, I mean, yeah, also, the, the, the guy who did, like, help work on the compression type did also like, start working for Merchantsoft officially, so... That's that's also a fact, but it's, it's interesting. I like that sort of, like... That, that sort of very subtle, like, oh, you can put the pieces together about this world and, like, this, this like, company and all this this way, instead of it just being, like, very directly... In 1993, HypnoS built Hypnospace using NetSettler's code word for word without ever using anything else and just taking their software directly and porting it forward. Like, like, I... I, I don't know, I, I, I like the way this game tells its story, instead of just like very directly telling you everything, it gives you all the pieces you need to put things together yourself. It's smart, it's fun! It, it, it would be weird if it was otherwise, because then instead of being like browsing the internet, it would be the fucking Mass Effect Codex, but still. Like, I like it, it's fun, it's good. <sighs> Some citizens don't like the way zones are handled. Merchantsoft has been known to rename or change the theme of zones with no warning. Most recently, five zones were condensed into Starport Castle Dream Station. Huh. Interesting. Uh, in NetSettler, users organized their own zones. The old system was harder to moderate and was less safe for younger users, but it was far better in almost every other regard. Uh, uh, 
Sleep Time Networking. What in the world is Sleep Time Networking? Sleep Time Networking is a relatively new technology that allows people to use computers while they're sleeping. This is accomplished by wearing a headband that somehow beams images and audio into users' brains and lets them dream their computer usage. Said headband must be plugged into a computer and connected via broadband. Hypnospace and Cyber Worlds are currently the only two titans, are currently the two titans of sleep time computing. Cyber Worlds is aimed at more at tech and gaming crowds, while Hypnospace seems to be more for your everyday person. That... that makes me wonder, um... I know that there's been posting, um, online, on like actual real life Twitter, uh, from the Zayn account, uh, where Zayn is now an adult and like working on a video game. I wonder if it's going to be Cyber Worlds, like, integrated. Uh, I wonder if that's the thing they're going to be getting at, or, or if, like, it's just something unrelated that Zane is working on as an, as an adult now. Either way, I'm excited to see what comes out of that eventually, but I should probably beat this game first before I look more into that, shouldn't I? <laughs> the hardware works impressively well, but there are a few kinks, like... It's hard to remember much of what went on in Hypnospace during your awake time. It's easier to remember when returning, but it can be foggy at times. Doctors seem uncertain about the whole thing, though I haven't had much trouble outside of infrequent bouts of sleepiness. Uh-oh. Huh. Wasn't... Wasn't the... What, wasn't the Hypnospace ad talking about um, how when you use it you wake up and you feel super refreshed and all that? Is is Beef Brain real? Holy shit! Is, this, this Beef Brain might be real! <laughs> I need to download this picture and put it on my page right fucking now! <laughs> Alright, we saw this one. Have you seen HypnoS tips? Uh, cycle through open apps. Oh, control key to do that. Okay. Oh, that is handy. Control tab opens the app menu. Control D closes all windows. Enters yes or okay. Interesting. Interesting. If this kind of technology existed, employers would probably require you to do office work in your sleep. Oh god, you- of course they would. Fucking of course they would. It's, it's a good thing it doesn't exist. <laughs> Maybe it is good, in fact, that, uh, the development of, of, of new technologies and softwares, uh, aren't happening in this regard so that we can't have, uh, so that we can't have rampant capitalism take advantage of us even more using it. Perhaps it's good that this is just a work of fiction. <laughs> you can pin windows, you can use stickers on your desktop. Hey, I do have garden sticker, I can decorate my desktop. Uh, my desktop doesn't usually have this many stickers on it, just a fun example of what stickers can do. Cute. Sticky notes are a very welcome recent addition. Double click on this to add a sticky note to your desktop. Click it and begin typing to add text, drag it to the trash bin to delete it, simple as that. Page loading speed, wiggle your mouse cursor wildly. You have permission to share this graphic, but only if you link back to this page. No joke, wildly moving the cursor around will increase both downloading and processing speed in HypnoS. Uh, none of us in the HypnoSpace Tech Club are sure why it works this way. <laughs> but we assume it has something to do with increased brain activity inherent in moving an object about. Weird. That's, that's a fun little sort of way of being like, we don't fucking know why this works for something that is just a game mechanic. <laughs> oh, God. When when I was a wee one, I used to try and hammer the space and enter buttons in the hopes that it would help things uh, speed up on, on the internet. It, it never worked, of course, but I always felt like it did. I'm working on a book about HypnoS that I hope to have published next year. Check back! In the meantime, check out my WYTW page. It's even won an award. Connie's favorite. Connie Turner's. I updated Connie's connections with new graphics to account for broken connections as a result of Merchant Soft's net settler fiasco. <laughs> Connie Turner, uh, 41 years old, Los Angeles, California. <laughs> 
Have I been on this page yet? I don't think I have. Welcome to Connie's Connections. This page is dedicated to helping people in hypnospace connect with one another over similar interests. It's also an excellent, entertaining way to waste time. I make sure that all pages listed here are worth a visit. Important update below, November 5th, 1999. That was yesterday. <laughs> Technology connections. Different connections. Art and culture connections. Funny connections. I still think you matter. Okay. If your page was picked as a Connie favorite, you are welcome to use this graphic on your page. <laughs> Important update, November 5th, 1999. <clears throat> Sorry, I need a drink. Due to recent issues surrounding NetSettler and HypnoSpace page builder formats, many of the connections listed here are no longer functional. Some pages appear with unreadable text and broken links, while others have been deleted by users who have moved away. I have made graphics denoting both, NetSettler and Abandoned. Uh, I'm aware of these issues, do not message me about them. I'm holding out hope that MerchantSoft will realize just how many people here use NetSettler and figure out how to support their legacy software. If this does not happen, I'll have no choice but to close Connie's connections or move it to another sleep time service. Some requested by Serenade, song requested by Serenade Me Jeff, who unfortunately no longer has a page on Hypnospace. Sorry, I'm so behind with these. If you have a page song request, message me. Song title, You Matter, Artist Jeff. About Connie. I'm a California-based computer security specialist. As idealistic as it may sound, I enjoy bringing people together and facilitating understanding between them. That's why this page exists. And yes, I know that the page is more cafe material. Too late now, already a good timer. I enjoy many different styles of music, and watch a decent amount of television too. To be any more specific could work against the nature of this project, so if you're curious, message me. Wink. Wink. Good on you, Connie. I appreciate the work like this. Uh, what in the world by Gearhead Greg, Connie's favorite. What in the world is a page that makes me wish I created a learning slash informative section? WITW is full of useful information for new hypnospace users. I also recommend Greg's HypnoS Tech Tips page. Lots of handy shortcuts there that will be news to most HypnoS users. Also try HypnoS Tech Tips. Oh right, it's also from Greg. Jazz's Software Reviews by Jazz. Jazz is a legend in the NetSettler community for his massive free software database there, so it comes as no surprise when he started a sleep time alternative. Unfortunately, there's not much software for HypnoS, and I doubt there ever will be, but if it exists, you can find a review of it here. Oh yeah, I think I was here already. Uh... Right, they, re they reviewed April... Professor Helper, and they had the they had they had the pride flag on their page. Yeah, nice. Good on you, Jess. The Observer, by the Observer. The Observer is a gaming news page and one of the only to cross over after the demise of gamers only. It is now located in the Freelands, inside the new catch-all niche interest zone, Starport Castle Dream Station, and it continues to be a great resource for computer and video gaming hobbyists. Ah, The Observer. What song is this? Midnight by Asher. News October 30th, sorry for the silence, surgery break. Working on a new preview for Cataclysm now. New game reviews every week on The Observer. <laughs> Oscar Sparrow, 31 years old, Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Opinion, strategy, reviews, and previews. Squishers review. If you know any preteens, there's a good chance they're obsessed with Squishers. Is the game actually any good? I give it a shot on this review. Why no Hypno S games? The Hypnospace headband is a decently capable piece of hardware. Lots of gamers are on Hypnospace. Merchant Soft likes money. What's the holdup? September 12th. Page update. Because Merchant Soft have deleted gamers only, I've decided to join the Sovereign Alliance of Imagination. The Observer will soon be listed in the SAI Freelance. I, I, I do like this sort of, like, protesting against the moderation team by setting up our own free online space sort of thing. <laughs> That does feel very early internet. Sorry for the lack of new content. I hope you enjoyed the new design. About the Observer. Welcome. 
The Observer is the hypnospace version of my popular but still sort of underground website, dedicated to bringing you computer and video gaming news, previews, opinions, and more. New page music by Asher. Song used with permission. Let's check out that Squishers review. Squishers, a unique slime fest, and the game champ's first decent title. Forgive the blurry screenshots, it is hard to take pictures of the game champ portable's tiny screen. Squishers are everywhere. TV, radio, and the internet, and even hypnospace. If you aren't seeing ads for it, you're hearing tales of concerned parents and addicted children. It's easy to be cynical and write off massively popular titles as the inventions of toy selling marketing execs. Squishers may be that, but as much as it pains me to say, it's also an excellent game. The Squishers overworld is vibrant, sprawling, and a pleasure to explore. This, this is neat. This looks extremely like Pokemon uh, Emerald to me. Squishers has a simple, albeit odd, premise. A spaceship containing high-tech capsules full of gooey alien life was shot down over Earth. It crash-landed on an island, and its contents were scattered in the process. Some capsules opened, releasing the slimy Squishers creatures contained inside. It's your job to rescue all 48 creature types that escaped, returning them to their capsules. Ah, there's 48 of them. You accomplish this by sucking them up using a syringe gun, temporarily storing them in a tank on your back until you're able to return them to their respective capsules. Squishers will only allow themselves to be sucked up if one of your currently in-tank squishers are able to convince them through a novel little conversation system. Oh, that's cute. Instead of it being like a combat thing, it's just, it's like, it's, it's, it's like the, the, the main mechanic is like a, is like a dialogue system. That's neat. I like that. I learned quickly to avoid presenting my Yoki to its natural predator, his slime. Things got messy. So long as your squishers are of a similar species to your target creature, and the target is not considered your predator, you may have your squishers engage in conversation with them. The more your creatures engage in conversation, the more persuasive they get. While I was bummed that there wasn't more depth to the squishers' take on combat, I enjoyed watching the creatures converse. The various shades of conversation are cute and often humorous. I give Squishers a hearty 92 out of 100. 92 slash 100. Excellent. 2 out of 10. Lurfect. Good to know. Squishers is actually a pretty good game. Like, like it actually does sound like it's a pretty decent, um, like a pretty decent take on the, like, monster collector type of game. Honestly, like, I, 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 I'm always a sucker for, like, uh, types of games where instead of, like, having a quote-unquote uh, combat system or, like, you know, even alongside that, there's, like, a, an in-depth sort of, like, dialogue or, like, persuasion system sort of thing as well, so you can, like, talk your way out of stuff. I always think that's an interesting sort of game design thing. Oh, there's one, like, card-based one that I've been wanting to check out that's something like that. It's like, uh, Signs of the Sojourner or something like that. I've been wanting to play that one. I need another drink. There's a lot of talking in this game, so I gotta keep, I gotta keep the water going in my throat so I don't aggravate it. Okay, yeah, I, I guess I got the name right because other folks are recognizing it. The Observer Speaks. Why are there no hypno S games? It's been over a year since launch. Where are they? Let's take stock of what we know. We know that the Hypnospace headband packs a surprising amount of power for a $500 computer that literally projects images into your sleeping mind. We know that at least a few of the guys who run Merchantsoft are avid gamers. We know that Merchantsoft love money, as evidenced by their pandering to the lowest common denominator in their marketing and advertising. We know that games make a lot of money. So where are the games? Signs of the Sojourners in the anti-racism bundle at H.I.O. did a while back, so if you bought that, then you have it. Okay, I guess I have it. Uh, I've kind of been, like, going through uh, and, like, buying those a second time anyways, just because I like supporting devs if I have the means. So, like, a couple of times there's, like, a game that I had in that bundle that I was just like, oh, huh, neat. I'm gonna buy it again on itch or buy it on Steam or something, though. <laughs> To be fair, this isn't only Merchant Soft's problem. Cyberworld's, Hypnospace's fiercest sleep time competitor, is also bereft of games. 
I can't be alone in thinking that the first sleep time service to capitalize on the hungry horde of gamers is going to completely wipe out the competition. I will give a small amount of credit to Hypnospace for the virtual pets, but those things seem more toy-line. I'm talking a full game experience here. So I guess that's it. Dylan, Adrian, where are the games? Update, wow. Dylan Merchant sent me this over chit chat. I've been saying this for years. Unfortunately, it isn't always easy to get the ball rolling on things like this. That said, I can't spill the beans, but do you look forward to the HypnoS Year 2000 update? I think you'll be pleased. Huh. Yeah, the fact that this game is set in 1999, uh, hearing Year 2000 update has got, like, alarm bells ringing. Is there gonna be a Y2K scenario in this game? <laughs> I guess we'll see. It's it's going to be so fucking funny uh, if it's like, all right, it's finally time to have our video game out. Here we go. And then like all of the systems or something like, I don't know, catch on fire or like there are chipsets melt down because of the year 2000 bug. And then like no one can ever go online ever again. <laughs> be a good bit. It's time for Beef Brain, the new game where everyone enjoys brain! What was Y2K? Was that like an end of the world scare? So, the Y2K was uh, like a concern about like the integrity of a lot of computer systems uh, based on like, I don't remember the exact specifics of it, but it had something to do with when um, clocks were going to roll over like internal clocks on all like machines, uh, when they were going to try and roll over to uh, the year 2000, there would be like some kind of like, brain, uh, like internal overflow issue where it would like roll back to like a different date completely, and because uh, yeah, basically it it happened because programmers got lazy when they were setting up all these systems, just like oh, it's 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 not gonna be a big deal. We'll worry about it in a couple of years. And then, uh, like, you know, the, the 90s came around, people were like, oh shit, we need to get this fixed, or, like, every single computer system, when we get to t year 2000, is going to think we're in the year 1900, and, like, all fucking, uh, calculations based on date and time, uh, are gonna be completely fucked and, like, be completely inaccurate, and there's gonna be, like, a ton of problems for, like, a ton of computer systems all around the world. Uh, and, like, the reason why, uh... The, the, the reason why nothing actually quote-unquote happened uh, when the year 2000 happened is because a lot of people worked their fucking asses off to basically nip every single, like, Y2K-related bug that would occur in the bud uh, before, like, it could actually happen. Uh, but that didn't stop, like, it from being, like, sensationalized. Uh, it didn't stop that from being sensationalized at all because people were reporting on, oh, here's the Y2K bug, it might happen. But no one was reporting on, hey, here's all of the hardworking people uh, <laughs> that are working to keep it from happening. Because that doesn't sell headlines as much as like, oh no, all the computers are going to go bad when we get to the year 2000. And so people thought it would be like the actual literal end of the world and like the nukes would go off and like all produce would melt and we would have acid rain and stuff like that. Um... And all planes would crash. Well, return to your post. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just talking about Y2K here, bud. Uh, Jesus Christ, can't even take a break when I'm volunteering, can I? Um. But yeah, um, there's a similar thing that's apparently might be happening in the year 2038, uh, which I'm assuming is also being worked on to prevent it from happening. But um, that that's another similar issue for for not quite the same reason, but uh, similar internal number calculation reasons. A lot of the Y2K scare in this gets very Christian-oriented. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's the Observer. Starport Castle Dream Station. A new zone for all you geeks, nerds, and other citizens with niche interests. A welcome from Hypnospace CEO Adrian Merchant. Welcome to Starport Castle Dream Station, a new zone where fans of fantasy, science fiction, and other niche interests may converge. If your listed pages appeared in one of the following zones, they have now been related here. Sci-Fi Starport, Gamers Only, The Comic Shop, 
the Dream Castle, Cybercog Station. That's... That's a very hodgepodge mix of like, well, this is media people like. Let's put it all together like this. Jay Tholon's a progressive Christian, and a lot of the text in this is explicitly critical of evangelicism and occult Christianity. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've I've like followed Jay Tholon uh, on 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 Twitter and stuff for like a while. He's he's a good dude with good beliefs, uh, and you know, I I I think a lot of people. Uh, give, like, Christians as a group in general a bad rap, and, like, there's a lot of completely justifiable reasons for that, but, like, you know, it just goes to show you that, like, someone's faith doesn't, like, inherently make them, like, an awful person. You know? And, like, I, I like that that's, like, something they, like, use in their works without it being, like, a like a weird, like, shitty... Like preachy evangel evan evan evangelical evangelical because they're not a weird shitty preachy evangelical person. It's neat. Under the hood, by Stuart Choi, abandoned. Under the hood was a fascinating look at the history and inner workings of computers, uh, the internet, and sleep time tech. I've contacted Stuart to see if I could obtain a copy of his page to host myself. Yep, yeah, not here. Song request? Yeah, just the same song request thing. Okay. Weird, wonderful, and different connections. Future Recycler by Rudy Ringhausen. Net Settler, Connie's favorite. This page may not load properly in the newest Hypnospace Explorer. I'm not sure if Future Recycler is intended to be taken seriously or if it's art. To err on the side of caution, I'm including it in the different category. FR is a page by Rudy man from the future, looking for people to fund his, quote, product proposals. In our messages, he seems entirely serious. The music is highly creative, and I've obtained permission to share it here. Downloading Butch Recycler 01 nice. Bolo, Butch Recycler 02 Gamble, Butch Recycler 03 Sweater. <laughs> Butch Recycler. <laughs> Hmm, that, that didn't seem like it loaded right. Scary. Rudy Ringhausen status. The Lord sent me from 2038 to 19... 2038, huh? 2038, huh? <laughs> to help, so ask me about my product proposals. Music penned by my nephew John. This page uses a deprecated net settler format. It's been automatically hidden from public zone listings. Hey, Weaker, with the 11 month resub. Thank you. Super Mario Sad World for download. Not illegal. Warning, it's not illegal. Check it out. .hsp conversion supported only for NS Page Builder 1.02 and newer. Please remake this page in HS Page Builder. I see. Bolo tie clock. The swatter. The swatter mark two in development. I see. I see. I see. I see. This page cannot be found. God, every time that happens, I'm worried it's gonna somehow crash my headband. Bolo tie clock. Virus detected. For your safety, please open <laughs> HypnoCure and uh -oh. cure me now. We got trouble. Uh. Okay. We got trouble. Well... I'm sure it's fine. Virus detected. For your safety, please open... Fap, pop, pop. Virus detected. <laughs> For your safety, please open HypnoCure and click Cure Me Now. Just in case! We got trouble. You're good to go. Are you crying? Are you crying? 
Official Net Settler info. All current Net Settler pages have been automatically hidden as they are no longer compatible with Hypnospace Explorer. All search tags have been replaced with NSDP. This will now appear at the top of older Net Settler pages. Uses a deprecated Net Settler format, blah, 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 blah. We already saw that. Any older Net Settler pages remaining after January 1st, 2000 will be deleted. To view Net Settler pages, please upgrade to HypnoCure Pro and enable safe mode. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna... We, we can't afford that yet, so... That's a shame. Uh, C-H-O-S-E-N anointed. No F-E. Double-edged soft. Uh, Tom M. Harris's status. <laughs> Updated today. 28 years old. Patriot Hill. <laughs> In Teentopia? Bro, you're too Virus old for detected. Teentopia. For your safety. Please open HypnoCure and click. You're too old for Teentopia. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a kick unto their behind. Chet Stone, hero of C.H.O.S. E.N. Anointed. No fear, no limits. I do like no fear, no limits with a Z at the end. <laughs> Double edge software. Oh my god, this is totally like a doom. This is this is a Christian doom <laughs> with a sword. I guess it's more accurately Hexen then, if it's got swords in it. Great. Big fan of this song. Well, we can't really look at this page anymore, so. I do like this song, though. 56 years old, from Chattanooga, TN. Interesting. Interesting. Remember the Christian Doom where you played as Noah using a slingshot to feed the animals on the Ark? What, you mean Super 3D Noah's Ark? I could never forget that. I could never forget that. Gus's Temple of Serenity by Gus Parker. Free downloads. Gus describes himself as an omnist, which he defines as a person who believes all religions contain beauty. Gus seems like a gentle fellow, and the virtual art installations contained within his Temple of Serenity reflect that. Worth a visit. I, I'm pretty sure Super 3D Noah's Ark is on Steam, but like... I think I remember hearing the game is just kind of dog shit, like it's not fun to play, like it's just worse Doom. So like the entirety of the, of you buying it would just be like, oh, it's the novelty of the fact that it's like, uh... Just the novelty of the fact that you're buying a fucking game about going through Noah's Ark. It's like... Y you could just play Doom. You could just get Doom and play Doom, which is a fun video game. <laughs> Your irony dollars are still real dollars. <laughs> Welcome to Gus's Temple of Serenity. We've got the Bazaar, Serenity Tower, and the Visitor Center. Welcome to Gus's Temple of Serenity. I'm Gus. The temple offers people of all faiths and creeds a virtual place of their own to experience true peace. Come and meditate with us, or just enjoy the wondrous sights and sounds before you. Serenity Tower is the main attraction. Go there to visit one of our many meditation rooms. The bazaar is where one may purchase my handcrafted digital goods. The visit, the visit center offers information about me and the history of the temple. I laughed while taking a sip of monster and spit it up all over my desk. My throat burns. I feel awful. Help me. Uh, no one's around to help. I'm sorry. But thank you for the resub, Juno Pill. I appreciate that, and I hope you get better soon, I think. <laughs> Free background of the month. Eternal Dawn of Prayer by Gus. Downloading this wall one. The pals on chit chat. Buy my wares, lonely traveler. Premium wallpaper, the celestial duality of music. <laughs> oh, I fucking love this. This rules. This is great. Serenity Tower. 
The doors of Serenity The doors of Serenity Tower do not lead to damp rooms in an old temple. They are portals that transport to realms beyond the imagination, detected only by the spirit. Cosmic Healing Prayer Chamber Portal for Sherry under construction. Portal under construction, mystery portal. And the Realm of Flames portal. The Realm of Flames. We are all on a journey. There is no destination, only a beginning. A beginning you choose. Start your journey through the Serenity Temple, or simply feel free to gather strength from the positive energy here by this mailbox. Meditate and rest. You're A-OK. -okay. Click the arrows to turn to the left or right. This is really charming. I like this. later as, as the, 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 the time progresses. Hi! I'm Gus. If you're new to the Temple of Serenity, you've come to the right place. Here you can learn more about me, what I do, and ways you can get in touch with me. I am a single dad with two beautiful children. All about Gus. Single and looking. Like spirituality, meditation, good conversation, romance, healing techniques, computerized artwork, world music. Religion. Omnism. All religions are beautiful in their own ways. This man extremely does look and sound like a dad that would be named Gus. That's that's extremely accurate. That's that's true to form. <laughs> Gus seems like an alright dude. Alright, I'm gonna have to hit back a bunch. Sound Effects and Healing Stones by Steve Guy on NetSettler. This page is what it says on the tin. It includes a modest library of self-recorded sound effects by... Uh, excuse me, I had a hiccup. By Steve Guy, a hypno -S sound effects pack consisting of said SFX, no viruses, I checked, as well as hypno -S stickers of colorful crystals. Virus detected. For your safety... <laughs> Please open HypnoCure and click Cure. You got email. trouble. Good to go. <laughs> we got all our downloads here. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> Shame I can't read any of this. Uh, some rocks. This one, these these have faces in them. These have faces in them. <laughs> there are people trapped in these stones. What the fuck? Who trapped Neil Ciceriga in all of these rocks? Who who trapped Neil Ciceriga and like shattered his soul sixfold? Who did this? Steve guy. Mm, you bastard. Steve guy Whitaker's status. Hey, where did all you net settler people go? I miss you. Also, download my new Steve Guy sound effects hypno -S sound theme. Allegra's Tome of Scaries. The Tome of Scaries was the center of the comic shop's Halloween flavored interactive storytelling movement. The Scaries, FYI, Scaries are interactive multimedia horror stories here, range from silly humorous jaunts to violent gore fests. Lost to time forever, huh? Lost to time forever. It's sad. See also Linda's Library of Weird. I think we did click on this once. Linda's world famous Library of Weird. Linda's horror movie page and Linda's scaries. Linda. Hello, I'm Linda. 
I've been crafting, chronicling, and collecting weird things and oddities for as long as I can remember. Some people say I'm a little weird myself, but if you look deep inside, who isn't? Are you watching Double Witness? You'll love Cyber Soft Slug's Double Witness page. Note, unfortunately, this page has been settlerized. Uh oh. Interesting that it doesn't show up in here in the tags. This net settler stuff is a bridge too far. Did anyone else get a message from this weird citizen with a download for HypnoCure Pro? I hope I didn't give myself a virus, but. <laughs> but it's working and I can see my page again. <laughs> gonna have to try and save up for that, but it's real expensive. Let's see if we can... Uh, oh, that just shows me my stamped pages. I'm gonna stamp it. Um, we'll set this to... Uh, I so I can look at it later. I should probably be stamping some more stuff. Uh, the comic shop, a tribute. The comic shop was my home in Hypnospace. No one there, okay, other than Roddy and Blastroidio, even read comics. Most of us were movie buffs and couch potatoes, but still it worked somehow. If it wasn't for TCS, Scaries wouldn't even exist. Now Scaries are all I think about. From Mumula's legendary scary songs to Dark Twilight Tiff's amazingly creepy stories. We made something truly special. Most importantly for me personally, the comic shop was family. I hope I can find that again someday, because it's just not the same anymore. I'm seeing several pages tagged as lifestyles, and I'm wondering if that's supposed to be like, uh, like an LGBT sort of tag. It's interesting. We can come back to this one later. It is the LGBT tag. Okay, dope. Good for her. All right, so that's the different connections. Let's look at art and culture. Kevin J's flip-flop demos. Kevin J may just have the most charming page in all of Hypnospace. I know charming isn't quite what a burgeoning rapper wants to hear, but get zooks, it is! His rap for Buffet Heist is particularly cute, and I hope he's able to find that record deal in the sky and turn it into a real tune. It would surely be a hit. Support this young artist. The unofficial page of the uncontested hip hop and flip flop master. Sometimes it seems like this world get the best of you. Kevin R. Jackson, 19 years old. <laughs> Red Strike. Keep pushing. News for November 2nd, 1999. Red Strike's new LP, Push, is set to release in November. Hey. Through his label, Ill to Def, EMT. Already got a disc copy reserved through the street team's phone line. Here's a pick of Strike from uh, SND's Underground, I think is what it says. I've added the lead single Push as my page music for your enjoyment. It's a good song. I played this game so much that I started shouting. Shaking my mouse when Google Chrome is taking too long to load. Great. This game is a masterpiece and I'm glad you're playing it smile. It's a really good game. I'm having a fucking blast with it so far. I'm like excited to dive deeper into it, but every time I'm like, oh, okay, it's time to progress, um, I get sidetracked by stuff like this, but I mean, like, getting sidetracked is kind of the point of the game, and this is diving deeper into it, so. I'm having a blast. They got a bunch of really good indie artists in this game. Hey, fuck yeah, you love to hear it. Here's the cover art. Thoughts of these things used to ease the anguish. The people in my life slowly became strangers. The ones that's here now. It has the parental guidance label, but Strike never gets in too hard with profanity, so can't wait to get my hands on this. Click here to go to Connie's Connections. She featured this page and my main Kevin J page in the art and culture section and accepted my request to add Red Strike's other single to her page. We're taking over. Don't be discouraged if you can think it, then you can be. 
being push towards your goals and work to like this song no matter how hard it gets just keep faith and believe got young as they look up to me your lady that's down to ride on the real that's a feeling no money could ever buy just say don't give it up now just head up feet planted on the ground just say Dance, dance, dance to the beat. Gonna stand on my head, gonna dance with my feet. Let's dance, dance, Wonderland. It's the best of time with the best of friends. I'm Kevin J, and I'm here to say, I'm dancing till the very next day. Got dogs and buds and friends surrounded. Gonna rock this house, gonna pound this floor in. I'm Gurky G, and I'm four foot three. People say I'm short, but they don't stop me. Gonna hop on this table, gonna move around. Gonna drink this punch, this punch, gonna make this sound. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm Rosalita, and it's nice to meet ya. Let me tell you about my very best feature. That's a flip flop, I drop the mic on ya. Gonna bring the jam, yo, let me warn ya. I'm 03 and you can't stop me. That's with my friends, getting super happy. We've been going for a minute, not gonna slow down. Come on, we're gonna ride the floor now. We will, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will, we uh, we uh, dance, dance, dance to the beat. Gonna stand on our heads, gonna dance with our feet. Let's dance, dance. <laughs> 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 Holly Jones, baby, Holly Jones, baby, Holly Jones, baby, Holly Jones, baby, Holly Jones, baby. Thank you, Beanie Boy Beef, for the 913 sub. I appreciate it. Very next day, got dogs and buds and friends around and gonna rock this house. Gonna pound up and coming flip flop rapper from the 843. I'm a talented rapper and songwriter looking to be signed to a major record label. Please listen to my demos below and slap and slap me up at Kevin J on Chit Chat. Unofficial Red Strike page. Buffet Heist demo recording a cappella. Downloading Kev J underscore Buffet Heist track. And we're currently listening to We Are Dance demo. Downloading Kev J underscore We Are Dance rec. Let's listen to Buffet Heist. Just get that. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. A music file <laughs> added to Toonbox library. Eating all the caviar, we ain't paying nada. Yo, we rolled up on the resort and we slip right in. The buffet's always open and we always win. Cause we got in a buffet. No, we ain't ever gonna pay. Cause we made some way to friends. This buffet heist ain't never gonna end. Yeah, we got in a buffet. No, we ain't ever gonna pay. Cause we made some way to friends. This buffet heist ain't never gonna end. Boom. Buffet heist. <laughs> 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 Hitting us with the granny cream immediately <laughs> afterwards, too. That rules. <laughs> 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 That's really good. Fucking love this. Is that all that's on this page? Looks like it. Okay. Nice. And that's Kevin J's flip flop demos. You love to see it. <sighs> Aldrin's House of Sound. This page is a little rough, but the information contained within is worth putting up with Aldrin's lack of page builder know-how for. If you're into music, give the house a sound a read, and you just might discover your new favorite group. Oh, right, this one! Yeah, we've seen this one! <laughs> I love this one. Let's see. Uh, I can't remember if we've read uh, any of these other ones. We've read we read the seepage review for sure. Uh, did we look at Chatterman and the Boys? Chatterman and the Boys review: uninspired hard rock riffs and unconvincing masculinity. Chatterman and the Boys looking for trouble. Fairfield Productions, CD, 1986. Chatterman, real name Eric Hellman, uh, so we'll call him that from now on, needs no introduction. 
If you've caught any television over the last decade, you will no doubt recognize his yarling, mouthful of cotton rock anthems. If a mediocre TV commercial needs an uninspired rock chorus, they'll call Eric Helmar. Hopefully this trend ends soon, because it's bordering on self-parody. I digress. In 1986, in the midst of one of Eric's many public alcohol-fueled meltdowns, Chowderman and the Boys reported a release looking for trouble. The album's mercifully short 30-minute running time was comprised of these three song templates. Chowderman lusts after women in horrifying detail. Chowderman is strong and can take you in a fight. Chowderman is sad about a lost love. These templates are musically expressed entirely through bland, mid-tempo rock ballads. How Fairfield didn't notice that all eight songs are nearly identical, I'll never know. The record is so bland that I was practically begging for one of Trick's notoriously bad guitar solos by the end. Not recommended. Bill Aldrin. Looks like, uh, maybe the people outside of Sweden weren't so hot on the Chatter Man. A big thank you to Gearhead Greg. A big thank you, a big thank you. Clifta. Casper Sundberg of this band is on Hypnospace now. Wow, small worlds. <laughs> wow, small world, just being a run on sentence like that is cute to me for some reason. Casper Sundberg of this band is on Hypnospace now. Wow, small world. Wow, small world. The birth of Klifta. Klifta were a jazz rock group from Sweden, active between the years of 1972 and 1985. Guitarist and band leader Kasper Sundberg was the only consistent member, with the lineup changing completely after the release of B in 1975. Oh, this is a song playing from them! Nice! It's a good song. The Clifta story begins in December of 1971. Carl Carlson, a talent scout from British jazz label Cerebellum Records, signed Clifta to a three-record deal after seeing them play at St. Lucy's Day Festival in Gothenburg. In 1972, A introduced the world to Clifta's unique blend of jazz and rock, can we see some A's in the chat, please? I'm, uh, I've never asked before. It sold poorly in Europe, but found minor success in the US. Reviews for A were mostly positive, with critics praising Philip Grondahl's violin work and Torre Allen's loud and bombastic drum performances. Up. A. Clive, this first album. A. Clifton's 1974 keyboard lane sophomore album, B. Thank you, Block Spiders, for the 17 month Lisa. Hey. <laughs> hey. It was also well received by critics, garnering praise for its four sprawling pieces that took listeners on a pre Diluvian adventure. In spite of significant pre release buzz and musical publications, B was a commercial failure. Hey, can we see some B's up in the chat? I already see some folks posting them. I already see some folks posting them. You'll love to see that. I appreciate the initiative. Cerebellum Records, in dire financial straits themselves, released Clifta from their contract. They folded soon after. Thank you, Formless Monkeys, for the three month resub. I appreciate it. B is. <laughs> B. Clifta's second album. Clifta disbanded, and Casper Sundberg moved to Long Beach, California in 1975 after reading about its burgeoning music scene. He found work at a recording studio there and recorded the next clip to release piecemeal over the next four years. C reflected a low point in Sundberg's personal and professional life with its slow, meandering guitar work and uninspired synthesizer work. Can we see some C's in the chat? Oh, what do you know? You've already beat me to it. You'll love to see that. Do, 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 do you get it? C? Because, because it's the letter C? The album was self-released and only garnered attention from local media outlets. All three reviews of C criticized Sundberg's improvised vocal performances and the lack of discernible song structures. A big thank you to Gear, a big thank you to Gear Hedgra. <laughs> yeah. C. Since its release in 1979, C has grown a small following among committed Clifta fans, but is still commonly regarded as their worst album. The album's cold reception sent Sundberg into a spiral of depression, resulting in a five-year period of silence. Resurrection. Ralph Jackson. 
a friend and colleague of Sundberg's, encouraged him to pursue a deal with QPL, a company best known for supplying TV programs with interstitial music. Excited about the prospect of bringing Clifton back, Sundberg quickly signed with QPL and began work on his next record alongside QPL's in-house producers. You like how the game went hard on video compression but kept good audio quality because that would have been miserable? Yeah! Like, they, they had a really, really strong, like, visual styling they wanted to go for. Because like, that's like a- it's it's like a pleasant thing that harkens back to, like, the olden days of, of computing, but like... Really super low-quality tinny music would have just been miserable, so... I'm glad, like, they didn't splurge on this, like, or didn't or did splurge? I don't know what the right word is. I'm glad the sound is good. I'm, I'm glad the sound and the music samples are all high quality. It's, it's nice to listen to. The game's got a really good soundtrack, too. Casper Sundberg left the project after the first day of recording, citing major creative differences with QPL's engineers. Uh, much to his further dismay, the scraps he recorded were stitched together and overdubbed by session musicians before being released in 1985 as Clifta's final record, Clifta. The album was also included in QPL's private production music library for private licensing. Clifta. Clifta's final album. I'm going to keep calling it Clifta. Or Clifta, not Clifta. The whole ordeal was humiliating to Casper, who subsequently swore off music and started a career as an automotive airbrush artist in the late 80s. <laughs> no, you're not getting a D tonight. Sorry. I... Could have worded that better, I suppose. <laughs> but moving on. Ironically, loyalties from the Clifta slash QPL track, or royalties rather, uh, from the Clifta slash QPL track Sport Anthem uh, would keep Sundberg from rumored financial ruin after being adopted as the official song of the National Trennis Association from 1988 to present. A big thank you to Gearhead Greg for helping me locate digitized photos of the album art and the clip of the band and even writing this note for me. I am so bad at the page builder, haha. Visit his Hypno S Tips page by clicking here. Yeah, Trennis! It's it's one of the most famous sports of the time. You're telling me you don't remember Trennis? From the 1999? 1972 to 1974 lineup. Casper Sundberg, guitar. Andrew Strand on bass. Uh, Ralph Stig Ballin on keyboards. Philip Grondahl on violin and keyboards. Tor Allen on drums and percussion. 1979 to 1985 lineup. Casper Sundberg on guitar, keyboards, percussion, vocals, and Ralph Jackson as co-producer. Track 1, Be Alive. Track 2, Father Ocean. Track 3, Sage of Lifetimes. Human Constellations, Hello Little Hair, Heaven, and Cosmos Eternal. Album B. Ruins Calling, Forever Forest, Deep Cavern of Peril, Voice of the Earth Core. C. Chain. Night Cry Part 1, Dark Eye, Dream Chant, and Night Cry Part 2, 21 minutes long. Huh. Clifta, Clifta. Back to Life, New World, Breath of Nature, Sport Anthem, Glamour, Doing Business, Industry Motion, Natural Globe, Action Feeling, Newsflash. Yeah, that sure does feel like a bunch of, like, canned music they were making for TV instead of, like, uh... Anything that this person would've wanted to make, huh? This is a text box. Add your own text here, dot delete text. Add your own text here, DELETE TEXT! Okay, holy shit. <laughs> 25 gift subs from Dark Web Prashida. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's awful generous of you. <laughs> oh, it's funny that that happened as soon as I just screamed delete text. <laughs> ah, I need a drink of water. Thank you very much. That was very generous of you. <sighs> Tamara Speaks by Tamara Frost. I'm no poetry connoisseur, but I find Tamara's work enjoyable and wouldn't be surprised if she got a book or record deal someday. 
Her self-made recordings elevate the material above simply being words on a hypnospace page and transform them into works that will absolutely get stuck in your head. Zones. Zones. Places for people to feel the same. Oh yeah, I saw this page. Places for people to feel different. Welcome to the homepage of sound All artist, interpretive dancer, and poet Tamara Frost. Together. Have a seat. I have a place in the middle. Spoken word recordings, written poetry, and from the soul, all about tomorrow. I am special. Alert to all flip flop record executives. Check out my friend I Kev J's music demos. Everywhere. I'm not allowed to link to his page because of some free lands rule, but his zone is Starport Castle Dream Station. Hey, yeah, we we came to her page on the first stream, but uh, we 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 didn't know who Kev J was until now. <laughs> That's cool. Zones. Zones. They tell me it's a blue moon. We've got her spoken word recordings here. Window, my sheets, Ray's peak cool punk reading. You gotta drink it up. Tamara speaks cool okay, punk page. Right. I am pretty new to this cool punk art style, but it is quite fascinating. I love seeing all the incredible things you all make. The song playing now is my spoken word interpretation of the Grace Peak song. I remember hearing that song so many times on the commercials in between the early morning cartoons back in the 80s when I was a little girl. So much nostalgia! It is my first cool punk work. I hope you'll check out my other work too, which you can find at the homepage link at the top of this page. See ya! Tamara being a genuine and nice woman is such a breath of fresh pixels in this game. I mean, I feel like most of the folks we've seen in this game are just genuine and nice. If a little eccentric, but like, let's be honest, who isn't? Grace Peak Cool Bunk Spoken Word. I mean, yeah, okay, aside from Zane, but like, Zane is like some shitty teen. Like, <laughs> of course he's gonna be like that. Tell me it's a blue moon. Red through my window. Downloading to mirror red moon. Let's download these. Red my Downloading to mirror zones. To Zane is a bad boy. Zane is a bad, bad boy. I see lollipop Go to the poetry page to read the above poems. Like I see a ball hanging in beautiful The poetry of Tamara Frost. Just long enough for everyone to see. Zones. Maybe I should play uh, this. <laughs> Now that we have it downloaded. The music file added to Toonbox library. Zones. Zones. Places for people to feel the same. Places for people to feel different. All their own. On their own. Together. I have a place in the middle. Between the angry spaces that say I do not belong. I am seen. I am special. I belong every place, everywhere, just like you. We are all zones, together. Nice. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Enough of Granny Cream! <laughs> Come on! Okay, and we had the other one, which was Red Moon. <clears throat> They tell me it's a blue moon. Red through my window, my sheets, slashes of red across my pillow. They tell me to fear, but I don't have to. I see lollipop candy, clear and sweet, like cherries. I see a ball hanging in beautiful slow motion, just long enough for everyone to see. I see the balloon I lost so long ago. You're interrupting the poetry. Shh. And it can be one whole year of them. No, no, <laughs> no, enough of Granny. <laughs> This. I like that we just have like this whole page uh, where this woman has shared like her her spoken word poetry. 
screaming into static. I don't think that was one that we could have downloaded. They tell me it's a blue moon. No, it was not. So I'll just read this one out then. My sheets, slashes. This is screaming into static. <clears throat> I'm the mirror that no one can see. In my reflection, fragments of you exist, but pallid perceptions twist. Chastised and hidden, I linger. A dust sheet drapes over the glass, which I can grind into sand. You undermine my strength, my words, my contribution to the world, which demands I fight my corner. Where are the allies? Why does my anger stifle my battle cries? In the same way the Biloxi heat beats down through the glass ceiling. When the sun sets, there's no end to the reeling of my mind. As events of the day, the humiliation, the degradation, play on repeat, on repeat, on repeat, on repeat, on repeat. On repeat. Mm. Granny cream hot butter ice cream. Take the hot butter, ice cream, you take the hot butter. <laughs> thank you, Sam, the Vision, for the six-month resub. And also thank you, Haloed Wolf, for the 12-month resub, which was during the music. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I do really like that we just have this page of this person's poetry. That's really nice. It's it's I don't know, some something about like these like all of these pages is like they're just like and I think this is something I talked about, um, where, 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 like, something about like, this game's, like, writing style I really appreciate in this game is that, like, you know, there's, there's, like, all these people in this game, and they're, like, they're weird, they're eccentric, and they've got all these weird bits of themselves that they're, like, sharing on the internet, uh, but, like, they, they, they feel like they're people. They don't just feel like, oh, this is some vehicle for, for jokes for you, the player, to laugh at and be like, oh yeah, these people sure are fucked and weird and funny, huh? Like, it doesn't feel like these people in this world are, like, the butt of the jokes. It, it just... It feels like they're people, and, like, people are funny sometimes. And, like, a lot of this is, like, really sweet and earnest, and, like, I, I like it. They tell me it's a blue. It fucking rules when the writing in the game like cares. <laughs> it's the good stuff. I'm late, but they tell me to see. <laughs> Thank you, Atrab, for the five months. I appreciate it. I see lollipop. Zones. Zones. Then we've got places for people to feel from the soul. All about tomorrow. Places for people to feel different. Present day telephone sales rep, future renowned poet. Uh, from in the uh, between the angry where the loxy ms Biloxi, that's it what telemarketer poet I am dancer dreamer i am not a age 23 i belong thank you for being able to read that text for me i appreciate little bot i pet you on the head we are all so together finding that humanity is such an important part of what the authors wanted you to do in this game yeah exactly uh Seen Jay being frustrated by people who see this as an as entirely an ironic experience. What? Zones. Like, places for people to feel the same. I I feel like places this is just going to end up being like a repeat of like oh, no. the conversation I had when I beat Backbone and like talked about how I felt like reading other people's reviews of the game. But like, genuinely, I genuinely don't understand how like people can engage with like works like this and then just have like. No fucking reading comprehension. That's depressing. That's depressing. Like, this game is extremely funny. Like, it's it's extremely a comedy game, but like... There's it's there's more to it than just that. It's not just, ha, huh, wasn't it so weird and strange how pe people act like this on the internet? Wasn't it so weird how the internet was different in the night? Like, no! Like... I'm like genuinely mad now! <laughs> Holy shit! Why, why don't people know how to fucking read? If no space outlawed is just so deeply earnest and affectionate. It is! It fucking rules! It's, it's, it's like... 
first of all, thank you, BV728, uh, for the five-month resub. I appreciate it. But, like, genuinely, this is, like, uh, on par for me with, like, uh, fucking Outer Wilds in terms of, like, the kind of writing it has. Thank you, Doomer Skeletor, for the tip. I guess I'll save that until the message the is done. The writing seems great. It is! It strikes a nice balance between satire and sincerity. It is! And, like, I, I, I feel like it works, like, perfectly hand-in-hand. -hand. Like, the, the, the sincerity, the earnestness of it makes the comedy bits hit all the harder, and, like, the funny bits of it make, like, the more serious and heartfelt parts, like, feel all the more, like, real and, like, heartfelt, you know? Like... It's, like, it's, it's important. It's important. Together. It's like, God, it, it, it like, like, it like genuinely makes me think of something like Outer Wilds, where it has this like incredible, like narrative and writing style. And like, not just in terms of like, you know, how you play the game, how you explore around and find things and learn stuff about it and stuff like that. But like, in terms of like how much the writing just like, it like, I feel like I'm just babbling at this point. I'm sorry, but like it cares. It rules. It's like it 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 has so much just like heart and care in it. I am not alone. And it's it's everywhere, just like you. I don't know. I'm 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 having trouble coming up with the exact words I want to say, but like man, I feel I feel very strongly about stuff like this. I feel very strongly about like writing. Uh, and, like, about, like, writing in video games, because, like, I think video games are a really, really, like, interesting, like, like, artistic medium, and you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Like, case in point, this! Like, a story like Hypnospace Outlaw and a story like Outer Wilds, like, wouldn't work really as any other genre. Like, it really only can work as, like, an active, interactive thing that you, like, piece through on, like, in your own way, like, on your own path, and, like, it's just... There's so much, like, care and attention put into, like, every aspect of the writing of this so far, and it's just... We are also... Th the fact that, like, some people engage with, like, something like this and just read through and just go, like, Yeah, it sure is fucking funny to laugh at all these people and they're so... They're, uh, all the, the, the weird lives they leave. It's just, like... Places for people to feel the same. I don't understand... Places for people to feel different. People like that, and I am very glad that I don't. I think. <sighs> in the middle. I got heated, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got I got very heated for a second. <laughs> I am special. I am not. I belong every place, everywhere. I drink water. Like you. I, I feel like I'm not even like fucking wording like properly what I'm trying to say. And I feel bad about that, but just like, man. Stuff like this is really good. And it makes me very sad when people aren't able to, like, Zones. take, Zones. you know, like, the, just the basic surface-level stuff out of it. They miss that! You know? It just... It's just... Uh, 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 granny cream! Hot butter ice cream! <sighs> Places for people to feel the same. Places for people to feel different. All their own. All their own. All their own. Anyways, I'm gonna read Tamara's uh, about section here. Also, I just realized there was a hype train. Thank you all for the the bits and the subs during that. I do really appreciate that. I am special. I am present day telephone sales rep, future renowned poet. Hello, everyone. If you've come this far, I guess you want to learn more about me. Where to begin? Hmm. This last May, I graduated from college with a degree in English Lit. I haven't had much luck finding a job yet, because, to be honest, I'm not very interested in academia. Academia? Academia? I've never been sure how to pronounce that. No one seems to be hiring famous poets at this time, so I'm surviving by cold-calling businesses to set appointments for an overpriced fax machine salesperson to come pitch them. I know every rebuttal by heart. If you know how to get your poems accepted by mag slash journals, please chit chat me. Please, 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 please. We are all together. I hope things work out for Tamara. I really do. I think that's everything on her page.
Renderman 33's 3D page. Renderman 33's 3D page contains surreal 3D art created in Antelope. Antelope is an easy-to-use 3D modeling software packaged used most often to generate landscapes. Renderman shares his work in the form of hypnois backgrounds and stickers. Renderman's 3D page. We'll have to look at this later. A lot of your friends and peers aren't media literate to the degree that folks online are. It's- I don't even think it's an online thing necessarily. I don't think you need to be quote-unquote very online to have media literacy. Like, that's- that's just a thing I learned myself by, like, talking to people who knew about stuff like that. Like, I took a- like, like, I took, like, a college elective course, uh, on it because I thought, well, you know, I like writing about reading into things. It'll be fun to, like, uh, take a course where we just kind of, like, watch movies and, like, discuss them in that way. And, like, the teacher was, like, a hard-ass about it, but, like, in the fun way because it was, like, a hard-ass about, like, okay, you need to look into things to understand what they mean instead of just, like, looking at it on the surface and, like, accepting everything that's just right there in front of you. And so, like, like, I don't know, that, like, really opened my eyes. The dude was, like, a really cool dude. And so, like, it was it was neat to have an experience like that. There's a lot of societal pressure in some circles against earnestly caring about things. Yep, there sure is. And I am very glad that I got myself the fuck out of spaces like that when I did. <laughs> because, uh, I can speak from experience, having once been, like, a shitty... A shitty teen who was, like, way deep into circles like that. Uh, it's exhausting. It's miserable. It's bad. It's bad. Get the fuck out. Go. Leave. It's for your own good. It's not like you can, like, go to someone's face and tell them that, because that's, like, super fucking condescending, but, like, genuinely, like... It's something you gotta try and be mindful of and, like, understanding of. These are cool backgrounds. If it sucks, hit the bricks. You can just go. Oh my god, this one here, this one is extremely Donkey Kong Country, uh, pre-rendered backgrounds to me. This is extremely Donkey Kong Country to me. Oh, I can't, I can't keep it. That makes me sad. This is also Donkey Kong Country to me. excited to be able to see this page eventually. So that was art. And we got funny connections. Last Bus to Chuckle Town uh, by Eris Toddler. Oh, like Eris Toddle, I get it. That's, that's, that's cute. <laughs> Last Bus was the funniest page on both Hypnospace and Net Settler. It was themed around media-rich stops on the way to the fabled comedy nirvana of Chuckletown. Each stop contained a satirical takedown of trends, current events, or pop culture. It was fresh and funny without having to resort to the lows of a page like the dumpster. After the zone deletion and net settler fiasco, Eris Toddler lost faith in Merchantsoft and permanently decommissioned Last Bus to Chuckletown. I doubt this is the last we've heard of him. It, it is sad to see all these like different spaces on this, like, fictional internet that just, like, got kind of fucked over just because of, like, how how moderation decided they were going to arbitrarily change things. Oh, you can't even go to it at all. It's just gone. It's just gone gone. Dang. I was, I was hoping to find some, uh, some goopers there. <laughs> I was hoping to find some secret goopers. The dumpster. The Dumpster is a snarky humor page all about, quote, taking out hypnospatious trash. It is a devilishly mean website, and while, I'll, and while I'll admit to finding some of the writing humorous, I'm not particularly interested in this type of humor. The content is often haughty and disparaging in tone, and its writer could use a lesson in humility. Pizza dance! Downloading Pizza Dance, 1.
Dr. Pizza is America's number one pizza restaurant. Tell your mom or dad to bring home Dr. Pizza tonight. Downloading Pizza Dance, 2. Downloading Pizza Dance, 3. Downloading Pizza Dance, 6. Pizza Dance has started as an unassuming humorous animation plus plus.hsm page on NetSettler before becoming a cross-cultural global sensation. I'm not sure if Dr. Pizza was always in the picture, but this hypnospace version of your 10-year-old nephew's favorite song definitely carries the spirit of the original. <laughs> Looking for more humor to round out the funny connections page? If you are working on a humor page, reach out to me. Is this a reference to the baby dancing gif? That wouldn't surprise me if it was. Wouldn't surprise me at all. And that's Connie's page. Here we are, uh, back to uh, Gearhead Greg's <laughs> tech tips, which we were at previously. <laughs> I forgot, this is where we started from, wasn't it? We, uh, we kind of went. We kind of went way out, didn't we? This is where we just were. Uh -uh. We read what Hypnospace was. Uh, we read what sleep time services were, right? Yes, we did. Uh, we read... Did we read Chit Chat? What in the world is Chit Chat? Chit Chat is a back-and-forth chat program originally released in early 1998 for Flamingo S. The Hypno S version came out in late 98. Users are able to add their friends to a pals list and then engage in private or group chats with them. Hypno S communities often have large groups to talk about their particular interests, like the popular Cybercog and cool punk groups. It was also instrumental in helping the music sharing DigExchange and now FLST slash FList groups become organized. Note. The chit chat for HypnoS Pals system is presently broken, meaning that members who aren't technically your pals may send you messages. No word back on when a fix is coming. Uh, publishing pages to Hypnospace. A concept that often confuses new Hypnospace user, oops, I mean citizens is the difference between listed and unlisted pages. Let me say this clearly. If you simply publish a page and don't uncheck the unlisted box, no one will see your page. After unchecking the box, the page manager will ask which zone you'd like to publish your page in. Choose one, click publish, and there it is. Please note that you can't currently move pages from one zone to another, so when you pick one, you're stuck with it. You could always make a new page to put in a different zone, but that's usually more worth than it's work than it's worth. You may also add tags to your page. People search for tags, and if your page tags match, it will appear in a search results list. Even unlisted pages will appear, so be careful what you tag! HMSs versus AUDs. Sequenced music versus audio files. What in the world are music file types? Hypnospace is THE sleep time network for music fans. Cyber Worlds may have the gamers and movie buffs, but if you're a music person and aren't on Hypnospace, you're a weirdo. But did you know there are two kinds of music on Hypnospace? You've probably noticed it without even realizing it. HSM files, or Hypnospace Tune Sequencer files, contain a set of compressed audio samples, sequences that tell the computer when to trigger the samples, and a list of which sequences to play in which order. HSM files are known for sounding cheesy or annoying, but there are good ones out there. So, so HSM is like MIDI then, I guess. Thank you, Birdlimes, for the 13 months. After your first stream with this game, I went and played it myself. Thanks for introducing it to me. It's so good. Hell yeah! I'm glad you enjoyed it. I am having so much fun diving through this. I am excited to see more. Thank you for the 13 month resub. I appreciate it. Oh, was someone asking what uh, what mission I'm on? Uh, the uh, I'm on. Uh, let me just check my pieces. Uh, I did Gumshoe Gooper. I did Teen Topia Harassment. So currently, I am technically on Kappa Cash Extra Legal Commerce, but I was also just kind of diving through some pages that I didn't look through last time. 
uh, and wanted to, to look at. And I did also uh, accidentally stumble into Malicious Software General, so that's a, that's a thing that I can also do. Uh, a A V A U D files are audio waveforms, similar to a recording you hear on a cassette tape or CD. These files are usually highly compressed to fit under Hypnospace's file limits, so they might not sound as nice as they would on a CD. Downloading music in Hypnospace. It's very easy to find sequenced HSM music in Hypnospace. It's almost everywhere, and people love to share the songs they've made. Unfortunately, there isn't a great way to access known popular music in Hypnospace yet. A user-made group of AUD music exchange pages, known as Digit Exchange, was recently shut down by Merchantsoft due to copyright issues. Damn, you hate to see it. Uh-uh. Don't think I closed the Zane case? I didn't, uh, because I realized after closing Gumshoe Gooper that I could have gotten more more goodies if I had waited to close it. So, um, I'm keeping it open, um, on purpose. A new group known as FList, or FLST, has started and are trying to find a way to legally share files with one another. Neat. seen error messages. Click here to scoot to Mr. Mystery W's new page with Hypno as secrets, free cursors, and a few strong opinions. November 5th. Three new videos. Because I have work, these will be my final videos for a while. We'll continue posting cursors. Love cursors. <laughs> Mr. Mystery. 99 years old. Unknown where. That's an interesting headband ID. <laughs> Mr. Mystery W's Oddities, Issues, and cur Curios. We've got video rants. Original rants number one and two are deleted because of accidental identifying information. Sorry! Rant number one, the Hypnoist Launcher. Why the launcher on your HypnoS desktop is more useful than it sounds. Hint, it's actually for storage and configuring your app menu, not for launching. Downloading Remystery 1. <clears throat> Let's get that download. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Mr. Mystery W here with a new rant called the HypnoS Launcher. Awesome. So, in reality, if they were thinking right, they should have called it the HypnoS Stasher or the Hypnoist Hider, because its main purpose is to hide things. So this is the launcher. If you never used it, most people don't, because they don't know what the heck it does. So look here. I have the I have Hypnoist Base Explorer and Pets. These are the icons that are on my uh, desktop or viewport, if you prefer that terminology, <laughs> but I'll say desktop. And... Um, you, so, if I don't want this, the pets there, then I will put it in the stasher, <laughs> is what I'll call it, and look, it's gone. No more pets. Just this, this, uh, Tree of Life, which it should be called Tree of Life, the old name was Tree Pot, but whatever, and, um, <laughs> and then look, if we want to add things, sticky note, let's say, downloads. If we, these are the icons on the desktop, then they show up in our app menu. Um, there's also a keyboard shortcut for the app menu, control tab, and you push up and down, and then you yeah. push enter to open. So, that's a good tip, but I'm really Sir, we want frustrated because they shouldn't have called it launcher. It's not for launching, it's for stashing. Anyway, I hope you have a great morning when you wake up. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Great. This rules. I love this guy. <laughs> Rant number two. My problem with Hypnospace search. Ever notice how you can't search for three-letter words? Why is Hypnospace's search so lacking when Merchantsoft has some of the world's best programmers working for them? Beats me! Downloading for Mystery 2. Carrots! <laughs> okay, so let's go to our manager. <laughs> I'd open that by accident. Mystery 2. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Mr. Mystery W here with another little rant. This rant is called 
my problem with hypnospace search. So there's a few problems I have with hypnospace search. First one, I'll show you this. Let's say you want to search for pet. What was that? Okay, for pets, a virtual pets, a product that we, that, I mean, that they offer at hypnospace. So you search pet. Hmm. Oh, no valid search term. He said we. And, um, in the first video, he also had the HSPD Enforcer dashboard icon, um, on his, his desktop. Or in his stash or something. <laughs> and, um... This, this seems like a very, like for internal use type of headband ID, just maybe a little bit tinfoil hat here. And also, yeah, he does sound like the same tutorial voice, doesn't he? Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. Anyways. Removed it, pet. Why? That's because their system is so slow that they can't even search for three letter words because every anything with the word pet in it or let's say you search the then it would show that so so if you found theme t h e m e then if you search the then any page even with theme would come up because their system is so bad and so they because it's so slow because it comes up with a million results for small words then they just don't let you search small words anymore. So to search pets, you have to type the S and then you search and then you find some stuff. Only four characters or more can you search. And they don't tell you this, but that's how it goes. Another problem that I have Huh. It's you can't search for things in zones that are not added to your Hypnospace City screen. So Hypnospace City screen is your main screen. For enforcers, this is your enforcer hub with your list of zones in it. I'm, uh, yeah. So if you try to search for something that's not in a zone you have added, then it won't come up. And ah. I think this is a way to make it faster for everyone, but really they need to upgrade their technology. And the last point I have is it that it is so slow. I have sent them many um, tips on how they can improve this through their back end, and they are not interested. The end. It's interesting how you morning. know all this stuff, Mr. Mystery. Hello, everybody. Mr. Mystery W here with. Hmm. Because I have work, these will be my final videos for a while. Hmm. 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 Overlooked HypnoS features. HypnoS has many ingenious features that merchant sauce programmers worked hard on that not many people know about. Check out this video to learn about them. But first, what did what did that video say? Was it Mushi? Well, this is April, the newest one. And this is let just tag Mushi here. So was there, like, an unreleased Mushi virtual pet? We could also just, uh, do pets. Yeah, that just shows I'm April the Angelic Hamster. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe Mushi's just gone now. Maybe, maybe April used to be Mushi, but they had to change it for, like, legal reasons or something. Hmm. 
love this song. <laughs> Anyways. Downloading for Mystery 3. Let's go to our downloads. <laughs> Hello everyone, Mr. Mystery W here with some things that most people overlook but about HypnoS. Uh, mostly in the settings menu here. So if you look here, um, we have this big HUD mode. If you do that, then it makes this bigger, easier to click on. Nice. Um, as the art in these icons probably needs redoing, but uh, it's very nice, um, I think. And also, you can unpin the hood, and then it will collapse. So, when I first listened to like the intro videos, um, I thought that. Um, also, wow, the date is just yesterday, isn't it? Huh. I I thought that like the the person doing like this kind of voice was like an intern or something, but like this sounds like it might have just been like someone like higher up in in, in Merchant Soft than like an intern. They they just have a bad microphone. <laughs> so when you're not using it, then it's out of your way, which is a very nice combo, I think. Uh, let's see what else. You have cursor themes. Lots of people don't use these, but they're very fun. They are fun. Uh, this one is, um, I don't like mouse trails a lot, but that's okay. This one is, um, nature. That's, that's a very good. Uh, but I like, I provide some of these on my oddities page, so you can go ahead and download them, like the Scotland one. I, I really like this one. It's uh, actually a glove similar to the one in a Taurus uh, comic book, uh, is where I got my inspiration for this cursor. Um, there's also sound effects themes, which you can hear the one I have now. It's very beautiful. When you close the window, listen to this. It's like a thunderstorm. <laughs> it's so nice. Um, so, and then you also have... Um, if you're used to, for some reason, using a computer with a gamepad, you can click this, and you can you can um, switch to gamepad controls. Um, there's also, of course, there's there's themes, uh, your normal themes. Um, I like this woodland lodge theme that comes with the base plus. Um, yeah, but so those are a few tips for you. Um, yeah. And I hope you have a great morning. Goodbye. Bye. Hello, everyone. Mr. Mystery D Interesting. D Wonder who Mr. Mystery could be. Free cursor of the month. Every month I will upload a new free HypnoS cursor pack. These will only be up for 30 days each, so get them all you can. Downloading Gauntlet. Wow. Eight. Thank you, Soup of the Days, for the eight-month resub. I missed a couple others while I was listening to other things. Thank you, Puzzle Gaming Nerd. Thank you, Puzz, for the 11-month resub. And thank you, Dragon Lupin, for the tier 3 17-month resub. I appreciate all of the support. Thank you all very much. Yeah, this game is on Switch. It's on, like, every major console and, and PC. Uh, I cannot speak to how the Switch port is because I only um, have the PC version. Oh, all opinions here do not represent any employers Mr. Mystery W may or may not have. <laughs> great, great, fucking great. Oh, I was already on this, this main page, okay. Okay, so it is just the one page. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and hey, that's an anonymous gift sub going out to the community. Hell yeah. Very generous of you. I appreciate that. I guess we'll never know who this guy is. It's a mystery forever. Thank you, Frums.xyz, for the five gift subs. Very generous of you. Okay, so that that's all the backtracking what I did. Um
And I think... I also looked at everything in Team Tokyo at least once. Looks like I did, yeah. Which means... Uh, three hours into the stream, uh, hmm. it is now finally time. <laughs> Let's look at our cases. <laughs> Notice that the Kappa Cash payment system is considered extra legal commerce and has been added to our blacklist. Look through your assigned zones for at least four, possibly more, possible violations and utilize your enforcement tool to check them. Hmm. <laughs> I think I gotta change uh, these sound effects. <laughs> Let's go to Woodland Lodge. I'll try that. Uh, and then we just got pizzazz. Yeah! Big fucking gauntlet. Big fucking gauntlet. Yeah, 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 yeah. How long will I be streaming tonight? Uh, probably only for like another hour or so. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna go too, too long today. Uh, that being said, I didn't realize it was nine o'clock until just now. So, uh, hmm, oh boy. <laughs> uh, there was um, I'm looking for something. Um, it was. Something in my history that's probably long gone by this point. It was like, uh. That one guy that had the software reviews, um. Let me review. Uh. No, not review. Not review. Um. It wasn't, it wasn't Jass's page. Um, although. I think Jass might also have what I was looking for. Yeah, Professor Help. Okay, um... Good time scam watch. Professor Helper for Hypno S. Thank you, Trilobite Blessing, for the eight months. To the joke in no space is just normal space. <laughs> awesome. Your friendly computer expert now for Hypno S. Fast, easy, convenient, and completely free. When it came to hypno S and Hypnospace, I was so far beyond the times I thought I'd never learn. Sound familiar? Bach, Concerto, and F in the Italian manner. Exert. This is a great HSM, isn't it? Do you have trouble getting around in the digital world? If you've been putting off learning how to use HypnoS and Hypnospace, now's your chance. For a limited time, we're offering our award-winning Professor Helper software for free. Click here to download and install Professor Helper for HypnoS. Use of this software constitutes agreement to the Helpful Enterprises CM, Terms of Service. This grants Helpful Enterprises CM, full license to collect and share anonymized information with authorized partners. This data may include, but is not limited to, user hardware, software, browsing data, page creation, deleted files, marital status, marital doubts, marital doubts. and preferred cleaning products. This data may be shared with government entities in relevant situations. This data may be used to suggest commercial products relevant to user interests. This data may be used to refine optional recommendations. System inputs may be used to improve Professor Helper, copyright 1999 Helpful Enterprises, services. Inputs may also be used to create future programs, services, and subscriptions relevant to Helpful Enterprises, CM, users. Please note that a full uninstallation of Professor Helper is only possible upon paying an uninstallation assistance fee of 33HC. Helpful Enterprises, CM, is not affiliated with Kappa Cash LLC, CM, R, Vo, Pay Optic Point One, and should not be treated as such within legal contexts. That's weirdly specific, isn't it, huh? Well, I mean, they say it right there in, in their in their end user license agreements. They're not affiliated with Kappa Cash LLC, so seems perfectly above board. Seems perfectly legal. Uh, what's the uninstall page? 
Professor Helper is sad to see you go. We hope you learned a lot. To uninstall Professor Helper, if such a deed is truly your aim, please pay a small uninstallation assistance fee of 33 Hypnocoin. Do not download this program. Uh, it constantly shows you adverts and you have to pay to stop it. It only exists to get you to buy scam products using real money with a system called Cap... I see. Well, I think we're gonna have to give this a look. Downloading Professor Helper. Well, I think we're gonna have to give this a look. It's time to run, Professor Helper. Professor Helper here! Need some help? I see you're installing something. Would you like some help with that? Yes, help me! Here, try this! You are a winner! You win! Your cat love it. You've seen it on TV. Now order it on Hypnospace! <laughs> Professor Helper here. Allow me to introduce you to a friend. I think they can help. Katie's Cuddly Cat Corner. Two-day delivery. Bye now, Capacash. <laughs> Professor Helper here. The helping man with the helping hand. <laughs> the software you're attempting to access was not found on the system. Please install it and try again. I don't need help. Farewell! So long. Katie's Cuddly Cat Corner is number one and number one among veterinarians worldwide. Kappa Cash Sleep Time Shopping Network. Professor Helper here. The helping man with the helping hand. That's, uh, that's extra legal commerce. Here, try this. You are a winner. You win. That's, uh, extra legal commerce. Hang on a sec. Let's let's do that again. Extra legal cars. Submit. Well done. Give me those fucking payments. I'm agreed. Cat not included. Sale of product services through unauthorized payment processing systems, promotion solicitation, or participating in multi-level marketing schemes or paid entry contests. Okay. Professor Helper here, ready to help! Okay, that's not a violation. Okay. Professor Helper is always here for you! I love this kitty! Oh, this is a cute kitty, though! <laughs> also, I just realized all of these are pyramids because this is a pyramid scheme. Yeah! <laughs> Great. Alright, let's meet the other helpful friends. Professor Helper here, ready to help! Yes, here, try this! You are a winner! You Great. win! Great! Everything you need to keep you, your property, and your family safe. Year 2000 Survival Kit. Don't wait until it's too late. The Year 2000 Survival Kit includes one week supply of canned food, military flashlight, pocket New Testament, King James, 90 page Year 2000 Survival Kit manual, order today and receive free military grade multi tool. It's a. It's a Swiss Army knife. Everything you need to know to keep your family and your property safe. There, I've I've seen and heard of like real real life like uh, grifters that are like that like try and prey on like the fears of like a bunch of old religious people basically by doing stuff like this. So like this is pretty true to life. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Well, bye then. <laughs> bye! Uh, we're gonna have to report this. 
Can we report the like the forty nine ninety nine USD, or is that legally allowed? Let's see. No. Okay. Noted. Well, not too bad. <laughs> Free cruise and credit report. Oh, that's nauseating. Virus detected. <laughs> For your safety, please open HypnoCure and click Cure. Hello now. there, I am Professor Helper. Oh god. <laughs> oh well. Virus All right. detected. HypnoCure. For your safety, please open HypnoCure and click Cure me now. Wave hello. Thank you, Rosa Rosso, for giving a gift sub out to Professor Helper. <laughs> Remember the notice about the virus that makes your headset act like you're at sea? Oh god, vaguely. Oh god, vaguely. Professor Helper here. Need some help? <laughs> nope, not this time. Oh, well. You are a winner. Winner, 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 winner. Sign up for your free credit report by clicking the Buy Now button. You have already come this far. Don't miss out. A free cruise to your destination anywhere in the world you want. <laughs> Damn. No, not that one. Sorry. Uh, this one. I do miss uh, web pages just being full of scrolling text like this, though. Yeah. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. No violate, but it's giving me a virus. But it's giving me a virus. Hmm. Virus detected. For your safety, please open HypnoCure and click Cure Me Now. Can I, like, actually report this page somehow? Uh, for, for virus? And if so, like, which thing do I have to click on? Uh. Oh, the link to this page. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Wait, can I flag it at the top? Like, uh... No, not like here. Okay. Uh, so let's go. Let's see. We got this here. So let's flag it from here. Um, Hello there. I am Professor Helper. You sure are, bud. Uh, well, thanks. bye then. <laughs> uh, there we go. That is perfect. okay. The very top above the bio. Which which bit? Above the bio, so like. Virus detected. For your safety, please open the and click your. I don't like the gray and red bar. Here. No, you're you, you can't. To help. You, you can't flag that. That's part of. The the hypno s thing. Virus detected. Oh well. Or your safety. No, that's eligible Please for flagging because I've detected violations. Now. That's not reporting for malicious software. Like people are like, oh my god, Holly, dot dot dot. I can't believe this. Like, no, you're understanding what I'm trying to do. Virus detected. The flag button is to report the account because I've reported all the Please hypno coin hypno things. Not the hypno coin. The, the 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 other one. The the bad one. Like, I'm, I'm trying to report a specific instance of malicious software. That's what I'm asking. All of you are like, oh, I can't believe this. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to get the obvious thing. None of you know what I'm fucking talking about. That's your problem. Come on now. Come on now. Professor Helper is always here for you. Am I winning? I mean, I've got Professor Helper, so I, I, I reckon I am. For your safety, please open HypnoCure and click Cure Me Now. Okay, so there's, there's no way to, like, directly flag, like, an entire page for a specific, uh, instance sort of thing. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. That's what I wanted to know. Uh, we never checked out Blood Money Buck. Blood Money from the top down. 
Welcome, I am Dr. R.P. Martin. I have been tracking what the feds do with their money over two decades. Want to know where it goes? Buy my new book, Blood Money from the Top Down. Because we are the people are dropping like flies. Order now. Happy Cash Sleep Time Shopping Network. None of that. None of that. Professor Henry here, ready to Message received from HS underscore citizen underscore 006A325B. Huh. Well, bye then. Okay. Wow, this is so relaxing. Jump to the True Tranquility installation page. You've got hypno mail. Forward Professor message. Helper here, ready to help. Original from Citizen Adrian. Professor Helper is always here for you. Dylan, we need to get rid of Kappa Cash. Important but... message received from Dylan. Dylan, we need to get rid of Kappa Cash, but Professor Helper's okay to stay. We are talking to their people to make a deal and get them to break away from the Kappa Cash partnership. I'll update you all soon. I think this can be good for our partner brands. Important message received from Dispatch. P.S. Like I said, get all the Kappa Cash off there. It's not good, but not Professor Helper. He's okay. From the desk of Adrian Professor Merchant, here. Merchant Soft help? CEO. You lucky son of a bitch. You've got the CEO in your pocket. Professor Helper is always here for you. Professor Helper lives another day. Don't click that link. Hey, all. If you got a link to True Tranquility, do not open it. Auto installs a virus. It's coming from an account with no headband ID, so we can't track it. If you did install it, use HypnoCure to check it out. Uh, the virus itself won't hurt your system, it's just gross. It also replaced my HypnoSpace page with a weird gory picture thing. Hopefully no one saw that while it was up. We're getting the virus page taken down as soon as possible, but you enforcers might have to hunt down the nasty pics if this was sent to normal citizens. And not just merchant soft slash HSPD. We'll send a case soon from Dylan. Uh, P.S. I may have something neat for you enforcers soon if any of you are interested in testing a new feature. A, or a few new features. Huh. Yeah, it, it sure does track that, um... Adrian Merchant, the guy who's Professor the business guy. Helper here, ready to help. Do, do you mind? I'm trying to talk. Till next time. Until next time. It it makes sense that uh Adrian Merchant, the guy who's the business guy of the Merchant Brothers, uh, is being like, well, actually, maybe we should keep Professor Helper around. Maybe this would be great for our business side of things. Maybe this would be great if we get Professor Helper to uh to to to, to connect with all of our partner brands. That would be awesome. Fucking, of course, he would be like that. Uh, hello, Holly. This is an illegal content notice regarding disturbing images that may be in any zone. Please look for violations and utilize your enforcement tool to report and remove them. Uh, note. Hey, Dylan here. Hello there. I am Professor Helper. N no, no. No, Professor Helper. Dylan's not talking to you. This is an email addressed to me. Uh, it's, 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 it's different. It's, it's not the same. Professor Helper is always here for you. I'm glad to hear that, bud. Note, hey, Dylan here. It looks like a few citizen pages were hacked by that same true tranquility guy. While you can comb through every single page to check for the images you're looking for, you might want to start by investigating the hacker first. Hackers like this are always bragging or posting serial killerish cat and mouse games with hints. I would love to go hunting for nasty shock images, but I have a lot of programming to finish today. Plus, that's why we pay you. Sort of. Haha. <laughs> they, they don't... They don't pay me. This is this is a volunteer job. They're not paying me at all. I mean, they're paying me in hypnocoin, but that's not worth fucking anything. Ha ha. The image isn't quite illegal, but we're going to categorize it as such for this Professor case. Professor Helper here. Need some help? I need some fucking money. Is what I need, bud. Farewell. I've attached a blurry screenshot of what the thing looked like on my page and added cool punk paradise to your assigned zones. Case has been manually assigned to all enforcers by Dylan. Click the cases tab above to view your progress on this case. Shocking Downloading image shock image exam. example. Let's check that out, I guess. I hope this isn't Twitch TOS. Blurred a bit so as not to scar everyone who opens this. 
great. I wonder what that is. Uh, or maybe I don't want to know what that is. Okay, so we've got uh, our four reported violations for Kappa Cash. Uh, Professor Helper here! Need some help? Farewell! Uh, but... Chapter 1, show me the blood money. Chapter 2, for you to Frankfurter. Oh? Already? Deep into the deep. Hello, dear sir or madam. Please help my dream. Warmest greetings to you, Holly. From when I was a young child, I have always dreamed of becoming a treasure hunter and explorer of the seas. Unfortunately, my parents fell ill when I was but a child and I was sent to a foster home. I did not receive the education needed to pilot a ship or submarine, so I have worked as a ladder store clerk for my whole life. I am not one to beg, but an opportunity from a wealthy stranger has presented itself to me. If I am able to raise 10,000 hypno coin, the stranger will fully find me and team to go out on a submarine help. expedition this December. I only need help if you can give this, this kind stranger all of your hypno coin. Professor Helper is always here for you. Please respond by November 27th by donating to my cause or my dream will be dashed. Kindest regards and God bless Dimitri S. Jackson. Donate to my submarine troop here. Mount needed 200. Oh, we're so close. When we prepare for this trip, I will post many updates on this page later. Thanks, you. Now, I know what everyone's thinking. This is probably a Nigerian print scam. Uh, but consider, what if this really is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? What if this really is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Professor Helper here. The helping man with the helping hand. Professor Helper is always here for you. Help me explore the ocean for treasure and you will not be sorry. 52 years old from Savannah, Georgia. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is just funny money. We got nothing to lose by helping him out, do we? We just got to get the money first is the thing. Three men in a Frankfurter, slop dusting. Uh, they hog it all, the cost of dying. The bubble bond shift, early bird gets the world, shipload scourge, everything and the squeal, and getting to third base, the secret undersea one. Hmm. Professor Helper here, need some help? Uh, yes, help me. Here, try this! You are a winner! You are a winner! <laughs> Yeah, it's basically someone saying, I really want to go uh, to Antarctica, and someone told me I can make that dream uh, come true if you give me, like, uh, 20 Reddit gold or, or karma or whatever the fuck that system is. Can I report the Kappa Cash Sleep Time Shopping Network thing? I don't think I can. Uh, it would be uh, extra legal commerce. I feel like this won't work, but... I don't remember if I tried to the other ones. Damn, okay. Noted. Not eligible for flagging, though. HSPD security team will verify all related violations and review Professor Helper's activity to decide a further action. Hello this. there, I am Professor If this flagging Helper. relates to one of your assigned cases, uh... No, no, don't worry, bud. I, th I, th I think... I think we're good. Professor Helper is always here for you. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it, bud. Maybe a mistake. Proceed. Yes. Ooh, ooh, Professor Helper ooh. has been most. Mostly? Okay. Well, that's. I suppose that's something. <laughs> Thank you, Polly Hex, for the 16 month resub. I appreciate it. Let's go through some more here. To see if there's any other Kappa Cash stuff. 
Look at ministries. The word shall not return void. Want to uplift my brothers and sisters over at Patriot Hill Bible Church. Great work, you all. You've got hypno mail. 66 years old, Todd Hall. In reform all. I wonder who I got mail from. Ah. What did you do? Excuse me. It never ceases to amaze me how dumb some of you can be. I told Dylan that getting random users to do HSPD would be like herding cats and I was right. I said not to report Professor Helpers! Dot dot dot. P.S. If it was just a mistake, I apologize. <laughs> Fuck this guy! <laughs> awesome! Dylan seems to be the cool one of the bunch. He's hoping he doesn't prove me wrong somehow. 150,000 people die every day. One day it will be you. Do you know where you will end up? I want to go back. I want to go back. I want to go back. Ah! Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. 1 Peter 5 8. Camera here is scary. Notice Look Out Ministries did not choose to be a part of the open eyed zone and has kindly requested that our page be relocated to Good Time Valley. I will, n I will not remake this whole thing. We do not agree with the things they allow in here. How to be saved. The Squisher's Deception? Angels in the Bible do not look like cute little girls with little instruments and flowers. This is a lie from you know who. Great. How to be saved. Would you like to be saved? Close your eyes and pray this to the Lord. Mean what you say. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a perfect sinner, and unless you save me, I am lost forever. I thank you for dying for me on the cross. I come to you now, Lord, the best way I know how, and ask you to save me. I now receive you as my Savior. In your name, Jesus, I pray. Amen. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Hebrews 2.3 If you accepted Jesus into your heart, please scroll down! I mean, I suppose I gotta scroll down anyways just to double check, but... Congratulations, you are now a part of the family of God. You are brothers with Christ and a true child of the Most High God. Welcome! The Squisher's Deception. Squisher's Deception. Thank you, Bruxisma. For the 16 month. Earth is full core in a simultaneous four day time cube in only 24 hour rotation. Time cube does seem like something that would probably end up on Hypnospace, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the 16 months of support. I appreciate it. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. Ezekiel 22, 27. The wolf of squishers. The Bible warns about wolves many times. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him to a thousand years. Revelation 22. How much more convincing do you need? A serpent for kids to play with? If you need more evidence, let's look at its eyes for a moment. This is not the first instance of an eye of Horus that's been pointed out in this. Which, which makes me wonder... If this thing being called eye somehow has something to do with that. Hmm. The snake's eye very clearly draws to look like the Egyptian third eye or the eye of Horus. This eye supposedly grants its viewers sight that transcends good and evil, meaning that the snake is teaching our kids that good and evil do not exist. Or, 
Are you sure? <laughs> Who else tried to erase good and evil? I'll give you a hint. Satan did in the garden in his serpent form. Fourth, and the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. Five, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Genesis 3, 4, 6. And we're not through yet. Let's take a closer look at this popular giraffe squisher. There's no way this funny looking creature can carry a hidden message, can it? I'll let you see for yourselves. <laughs> God, this really is just like the scare over like Pokemon at Magic the Gathering, isn't it? <sighs> not so cute now anymore, is it? Nope, it's not. That's right, pentagramic markings right on your kids' toys. How did this happen? When a generation grows up without the Lord, what do you expect? We were so busy having nice little pageants and school plays that we forget God. Now this rebellious generation is in charge and we're reaping what we have sown. These people make the popular cartoons and movies and design the toys for our children and grandchildren. If you think these people have your kids' best interests at heart, think again. At best, they are unwitting servants of Satan. At worst, they are card-carrying members of the occult. There's a lot more where this came from. We're just getting started. I see, I see. I'm so, I'm so learning about squishers. Lookout Ministries is a Bible-believing, non-denominational ministry led by the Holy Spirit. It was formed by evangelist, teacher, and prophet Todd, who received the Holy Spirit at the age of 17 after being miraculously delivered from the brink of death after a drug overdose. Dr. Hall knows what it's like to serve the father of lies, and it ain't pretty. Interesting. Jay's Christian and put the pages in as a harsh criticism of some of the goofy shit churches did. Oh yeah, that's like... That's like very plainly obvious to me. Yeah, that's that's it. It, it, it seems pretty clear that it's just kind of like, man, people back in the day sure were like this, weren't they? People nowadays sure are like this, aren't they? Angels in the Bible do not look like cute little girls with little instruments and flowers. This is a lie from you know who. Learning so much today. Thank you, Todd Hall. Magic Orb. Ask the Magic Orb a question, it will reveal your fate. I, the Magic Orb, do not concern myself with such trifles. Okay, uh, let's let's ask a question. Um, uh, will I be ending my stream soon? Phrase your query with eloquence, please. Oh, Magic Orb, will I be ending my stream within the next few minutes? Magic Orb. All right, I guess we're going to keep going then. <laughs> Thank you, Rosa Rosso, for the bits. Uh, Magic Orb. Um, will I be going to bed at a decent hour tonight? Oh. That's worrying. Uh, oh, Magic Orb. Will I get to enjoy a delicious dinner tomorrow? Ask the opposite question. Okay. Oh, Magic Orb. Will I get to suffer through an absolutely disgusting dinner tomorrow? Fuck yeah. You'll love to see it. Uh, oh, Magic Orb. Um, will I... Be happy in six months' time. Ah, well, uh, what? Six months after October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Okay, uh, April 25th, 2022. Mark your calendars. Holly's gonna be sad. <laughs> Magic Orb, will I have a good Halloween? That's fair. Uh, oh, Magic Orb, 
Will I ever play Bros for the Atari 800 again? Fuck! Oh! Well, I guess I have to. Well, I guess I have to. I guess that's what I'm doing on April 25th. Uh... 2022. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna announce that on my, my server right now. Uh... I have to play bros for the Atari 800 again on uh, April, uh, April 25th, 2022. Uh, a magic orb told me so. Okay, um, and now I have to edit the, uh, Nightbot command for bros, uh, right now. Uh, I have to play bros for the Atari 800 again on April 25th, 2022. A magic orb told me so. There we go. Well, I guess that's what I get for asking that. Uh, I'm kind of scared to ask more questions. I'm kind of really scared to ask more questions here. Magic Orb, should I ask the next question I see in chat? Okay, uh, Magic Orb, should I ignore the next question I see in chat? Magic Orb, should I ignore any questions that my chat wishes for me to ask to you? Magic Orb, should I ask any questions my chat asks to you? I should not, okay. <laughs> Don't ask a question. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm asking more questions. Um, magic orb. Um, will 2022 be a good year? Oh. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we're only 1999. Uh, magic orb. Will the year 2000 be a good year? Uh, Magic Orb, will the year 2000 be a bad year? 2000's looking bright! Um, Magic Orb... Are you going to put a curse upon my chat room? Okay. Well, that's fair. Magic Orb, are you going to put a blessing upon my chat room? Okay. Fair is fair. The Orb knows. From the Orb Keeper, who only seems to have this page. How old are you? 49 years old. From Tallulah Falls, Cop. Fair. We've been to Gus's Temple of Serenity. We we've, we've seen Professor Helper. Let's check out. Uh, secrets uncovered. Do not scroll down my page unless you are ready to read classified info. Who has a scanner? Who has a scanner? 56 years old. From Bismarck. Nud. Secrets uncovered. Rod's page of secrets. Do not scroll down the page unless you are ready to read the universe's biggest secrets. There's no going back. 
If you think you are ready to find out for yourself, keep right on scrolling. Just a little farther. Do not pass to this point unless you know you are 100% ready to see this! <sighs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Do not pass this point unless you know you are 100% ready to see this. Underscore 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 underscore. Secrets coming soon, page under construction. <laughs> if anyone knows how to put pictures from your computer onto Hypnospace, let me know. I need to put my photos on my site. Technical difficulties, check back soon. Sorry. Awesome. Who has a scanner? <laughs> Great sight. Sherry heals. Do you need spiritual or physical healing? Sherry is here for you. Proven healing techniques from world-renowned spiritual guru, Sherry Claire. Psychic healing and life force rejuvenation for low prices. Oh, hmm. Low prices, huh? Asbury Park, nudge. Welcome to Sherry's Healing Pay. Sherry has had over 30 years of spiritual and physical healing experience and has consulted with world leaders, celebrities, and everyday people like you all over the globe. Healing and love spells, demon and ghost exorcism. She has an open, non-judgmental approach to serving her clients. If you are in need of healing, don't wait. Individual results may vary from person to person. 18 plus. Sherry's story. Welcome. I started my career as a psychic and healer 30 years ago, but I have been developing my ability since the young age of eight. One day, on a visit to a department store with my mother, I fell from a balcony and became unconscious. In my dream, I saw a bright light and heard an angelic voice, and immediately upon waking up, I knew I was different. Need answers? If so, then it's time to get the accurate answers you deserve. The truth from a god-gifted master psychic I've been solving impossible cases, and I've been performing miracles throughout the world for 30 plus years. I am honest and accurate, and have yet to fail a case. I had an accident and God made me realize I was simply built different and had powers. Hello, my name is Gus Parker and I want to testify how amazing Sherry's services are. I had a problem with a demon knocking on my door at 2am every night, our whole family was terrified! Sherry helped both us and the spirit find peace. Here's a picture my daughter drew of the spirit. Hello, my name is Gus Parker and I want to- <laughs> Thank you, Polyhex, for giving a gift sub now to Professor Helper! <laughs> awesome. This is a real demon you can actually find. We had a seance through Chit Chat and it immediately made contact with Sherry. It identified itself as Smolder Boulder the Demon. No, I will not go! Not until you contact me 25 more times, it said. Smolder Boulder is a great name for a real demon. So we had 25 more seances in the coming weeks, and finally the spirit left. Not only does Sherry know how to get demons to leave your house, but she is great to talk to. I would like to say that we're pretty good friends now. I'm so glad we met. Gus Parker. Hmm... Hmm. 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 Suspicious, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kung Fu Grip, for giving a gift sub out to Smolder Boulder. I appreciate that. Consult Sherry now. Proven healing techniques from world renowned spiritual guru. guru sorry, not Gurlu. Uh, Sherry Claire. If you would like a consultation, please make a small deposit of 33HC and I will message you a link to my services page. This is not a scam. This is just a safety measure due to Hypnospace making unfair rules about taking money that isn't their fake Hypno coin. Hmm? 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 
I think... I think we need to investigate this. Would this count uh, as extra legal? Let's see. Let's see. the link, but what we can do is uh, I can turn in uh, the Teen Topia harassment case because it, it looks like we've uh, gone through it pretty thoroughly uh, and that would give us some, some, some hypno coin. Let's see. Uh, Way to deal with us. that harassment. You're a real hero, Holly. Thanks! I... I think. So now we can do this. So, uh, let's see if this is, uh... I'm not hypno mail. Alright. Let's check out a mail. Thank you for the deposit. With a 100% success rate, you are sure to find the piece you're seeking after investigate investing in my services. Hope to communicate with you soon. Ah. And there's no tags here, so... I probably couldn't have searched for it. Yeah, there we go! There we go! We got some reporting to do! None of that. I'm getting my money back. I'm getting those coins back. I have multiple plans available for you to choose from. If you don't see what you like, send me a message. Custom love spell, 1995 USD. No, no, no. That's not going to do. None of that. Not on my watch. Candle lit for you or a loved one. Still a little bit. Wait, how much did we need for uh, for for the submarine? Was it was it two hundred or? Uh, I don't remember. Two hundred. Okay, so we're still a little ways off. Sorry, I do not accept hypno coin at this time because it cannot be exchanged for real money. That's. I mean, I I can respect the hustle, I guess, but she was kind of scamming people. She was kind of scamming people, though. That's we, we can get the April stuff now, though. That's true. Eh, maybe in a bit. Maybe later. Maybe next stream we'll do the the April stuff. Poor woman's trying to make money out of her little spirit stuff. Are, are you kidding? Did you see, like, the, the testimony where she straight up was just like, Oh yeah, uh, I scammed this guy for 25 additional sessions. Of, for, of 25 additional sessions of 1995, she knows what she's fucking doing. She knows what she's fucking doing. She's getting report. I am report everyone! So you best behavior. The HSPD security team will verify all related violations and review Sherry Heal's activity to decide if further action is necessary. If this flagging relates to one of your assigned cases, you may now close it. This one gets a no-no because I hate it. I think I have that picture up on one of my sources. Uh, I just have to find it. I think it was maybe the start of stream one. Um, where is it? Where is it? There we go. I am report everybody. So you best behavior. This is not a scam. <laughs> Warning, it's not a scam. You must cook it. Uh, we looked at... Oh, right, this page is busted. Virus detected. For your safety, please open HypnoCure and click Cure Me Now. I'll be fine, don't worry about it. 
Tall Green, fact or fiction? Everything you thought you knew about Tall Green is wrong. Or is it? Marvin McHenry status. I seen him. Marvin McHenry's status. I seen him. I seen him. 57 years old. New Orleans. La. Hey, Bill okay with the raid! Thank you very much. Hope you had yourself a wonderful stream today. We're learning all about Tall Green. Uh, Marvin McHenry here seen him. I seen him. Confirmed! Tall Green. Myth? Legend? Oh, ledge end? Fact? Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, a belaver, you can't deny that there is something people have witnessed. And yes, even video recorded near Lake Rosalie. To say they're lying would be to throw out years of evidence, testimony, and true encounters. Read on. If you are ready. Video recorded sighting, 1989, Louisiana. Look very closely. Did you catch that? Did you catch that? Look closer. Here, maybe this will help. Any questions? Any questions? Didn't think so. <laughs> I seen him. Actually, I wonder if Sherry's page has a new update. Uh, no, it does not. Uh, investigation pending. Uh, I was wondering if that would get updated like like right away, kind of thing. The truth about Trennis. All about the original Trennis that the sports leagues don't want you to know about. And the brilliant mind behind it. Thank you, from XYZ for giving that gift sub out to I seen him. <laughs> I appreciate it. Aurora Stone status. Think you know Trennis. Think again. Think again. I need a drink of water. Hang on a sec. Aurora Stone, 66 years old, from Keen. <sighs> Trennis is alive. Do you know who this man is? Of course you don't, but you should. This man, Harry Stone, Harry Whiskers Stone. Why does Councillor Ronnie's page have stuff about it? Huh? We get to listen to this song again. But what does this have to do with Harry Stone? Interesting. This man, Harry Whiskers Stone. Well, okay, okay, yeah, I guess it is because it's 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 like birthstones. I guess that makes sense. It's 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 like triggering on the word stone. Is how that search is working. Is my great 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 how, how many greats is this? Great 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 uncle, and the real inventor of the game we know as Trennis today. The famous Trennis court design that everyone knows is a stolen bastardization of a design Whiskers made way back in the late 1800s. A group of investors saw potential in my uncle's brilliant game after watching he and his friends play on a court he made with his own two hands, leaving him with a broken heart and an empty wallet. Read on to learn about the original Trennis. Sport anthem, great. Oh man, this is from Clifta's final album, isn't it? This is the real bad stuff. The real Trennis. The original Trennis wasn't called Trennis at all, it was called Tennis. It was also informally called Stickle for a short time. And rather than being played on a circular court with three participants, it was played on a much sensible rectangular court with two participants. There was no center grabber either, just the two people playing. Pictured as a commissioned artist's rendition of the real tennis court. 
Who knows what could have been if the real original game Tennis was allowed to flourish. If you would like to invest in restoring my uncle's brilliant game to its rightful place in culture, please contact me. We are currently interviewing interested investors. Thank you to Gearhead Greg for helping me to locate the Trennis song and Casper Air Graphics for giving permission to use it. Man, it's 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 weird to think like what the world could have been like if we had tennis instead of Trennis, but like I don't know. I I feel like it probably wouldn't have caught on very much. It just it just ain't the same. It just ain't the same. It sounds kind of bobo. Anyways, I hope you're all looking forward um, to um, my next stream uh, next week where I'm going to be streaming Mario Trennis Superstars. Uh, uh, everyone loves that one. Zared Eco Heart Status. Hello, my friend. Zared Eco Heart, 43 years old. From Earth, the universe. Hey, I recognize that, uh, that headband ID. Hey, I recognize that headband ID. Hey, I recognize that headband ID. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Hey, I recognize that headband ID. Hmm. Huh. Zared. Celestial Reflection. The latest record from Z pronounced Zarid, sorry, award-winning composer and Earth Haze pioneer, is now available in stores nationwide. An exclusive Hypnospace Digi release version of the album may be purchased for 33 Hypnocoin. The Celestial Reflection Digi release includes six selections from the full album as well as an exclusive Hypno S desktop background. Copyright Zared and QPL 1999. For licensing information, contact QPL San Francisco. QPL San Francisco is something we've heard before. Um, and it was associated with... Uh, Ca oh, Casper Air Graphics. Let's, let's, let's search for that and see what that gives us. Oh, nothing. Okay. Maybe we just can't access whatever page it's from yet. Unless I spelled it wrong. Uh, Casper Air Graphics. No, I spelled it right. Uh, yeah, no results. Okay. But, but I need to save up my coins for other things. So I'm going to put a point on this for later. I think that might be it, though, in the way of, like, uh, Kappa Cash stuff, at least for the moment. Looks like we got, like, everything in open eyed from it, and, uh, I didn't notice any- wait, 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 actually, actually, um, actually, uh, I wonder if- no, hang on, hang on. No, okay. I thought there was, like, a button here that I could click on. Uh... I thought I could get a little cheeky with it. Let's go to Terry's page. Was there one here? I don't remember. No, there wasn't. Okay. Okay. Good time Valley doing. She's still being investigated. Okay. Probably nothing really new here yet. Let's go to homepage. There's a bunch of the cafe we've probably not really seen yet. Um, the dumpster. Told you. 
<laughs> but we did access the actual dumpster earlier, so... Uh, we've got homepage of Dylan Merchant. Doesn't seem to have the virus anymore, which is nice. Didn't we skip dumpster? No, I'm pretty sure I actually went through the dumpster. Uh-uh. I could, I could always go back to it. Let's see, I got through th through Zane, I think. Uh, Zane rocks. Uh, how do I get the yeah, dumpies, maybe? Uh, uh, there we go, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I looked through this. I'm pretty sure I looked through this. Uh, they they were they were making fun of your bud Reggie at the cafe. They gave the award to Zane Rocks. Uh, and then uh, Grace P. Colico. Did I read that one? I don't remember. We could also look at previous articles. Yeah, that's true. Sand. Thank you, water for the water. I should have a drink of water. So we saw this one, uh, for sure. We saw this one because it led to Zane's secret page. Uh, and they made a custom badge just for him. I don't remember, remember if I read Page of the Year. Um, We'd hope to give this award to some underdog small fry hypnospace citizen, but Grace Peak Colico have become unlikely heroes after single-handedly turning the groan-inducing art movement cool punk into a full-on self-parody. Thank you, Sand, for the sand. Water. <sighs> Fans of Cool Punk are drinking up Grey's Peak Cool Punk marketing campaign. They're unironically thrilled about Grey's Peak's horrible tasting drink coming back. The three weed smoking 19 year olds who actually believe this was a meaningful anti capitalist art movement have got to be pissed right now. <laughs> Still, we're probably misguidedly. Hoping that this'll be the nail in Cool Punk's icy coffin, and we won't have to see your bad snowman art or hear your bad snowman songs ever again. Congrats to Grace Peak. You win 1999 and the rest of eternity as far as we're concerned. Man, fuck the dumpster. Cool Punk never dies. Uh, I don't care about the cola company, though. We hear you Cool Punk's loud and clear, which is why Snowcap Chill Soda Drink is coming back. Look for it at your local Cool Punk-friendly grocer this spring. Wow. Wow, that's, that's, that's a little on the nose. That about wraps it up for this year's dumpies. We hope your bloodlust has been sufficiently sated. If you're disappointed that you weren't among the winners, suck more next year. Till next week, fellow divers. You gotta drink it up. Holy shit, a Chowder Man song. Grab a grace. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Grace Peak? This also has the... This, this, this headband ID. So that must just be, like, uh, for brands and, like, internal use, then. Hmm. I'll have to verify that some more, looking at some other brand accounts. Uh, that's a dire thought. We hear you, cool punks, loud and clear, which is why Snowcap Chill Soda Drink is coming back. Oh, and while you're enjoying the cool, icy flavor of Grace Peak Snowcap Chill Soda Drink, remember the eternal words of Snowman Joman. Chill it right. The 80s may be over, but old Joman is just getting started. Capiche? Grace Peak Colico. Click here to go to our Grace Peak Joman Street Team fan page. Uh, get a Joman sticker pack, desktop backgrounds, and even read up on what's new with the voice of Joman. Grace Peak anthem, gotta climb Grace Peak singer Eric Chatterman Helm. Join the Joman Street team by simply displaying this badge on your your page. You're in. It's colder than the rest. I might just do a bit of the TTS for a bit, cause my uh my throat's a little bit sore. Download the totally awesome and totally free Grey's Peak desktop backgrounds here by clicking on them. Hey, free backgrounds. Downloading Grey's Peak underscore full punk. Downloading Grey's Peak underscore mountain. It's not 
letting me click on this one. It's not letting me click on this one. Imagine if Twitter had a check mark entirely for brand accounts. I would probably get rid of my account. I, 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 I already just try and fucking block every brand account I see. <laughs> if they tried to get around that in some way, I would probably just give up. I, I feel like I barely use the website nowadays as it is. I just talk to people on Discord if I want to actually talk to them. Wait, what, what does it say about, uh, about, 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 uh, it was supposed to talk about, about the Chatterman on that page. It didn't. It didn't tell us what's new with the voice of Joman Grace Peak and the God of Con Grace Peak singer Chatterman Heldon. It didn't tell us. It didn't tell us. It didn't tell us. Rocking, blocking brands is hard in Canada because they just come back in French. No, 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 no. That doesn't make it harder. That makes it more fun. That means I get to, I get to attack them twice. <laughs> that means I get to do a combo move. That's awesome. Let's look at those archives, I suppose. This is the 1999 dumpies that we're looking at right now. Halloween and Hypnospace. Halloween is in a few days. Hypnospace citizens have decked their pages out with a broad assortment of horrifying imagery, such as skeleton playing guitar, skeleton laughing, skeleton riding motorcycles, skeleton just kind of standing there, skeleton hand pointing, and skeleton tipping cowboy hat. Hey, Candy! Yeah, I'm fucking loving this game! I started it a couple weeks ago, and this is like my second time getting to play it just because I didn't have the energy for it until now. It's fucking great so far. We were just about to do the predictable thing and list Halloween themed pages from 70 year olds who can't quite figure things out when we came across this. Let's have a closer look at that fellow on the right, shall we? That's. That's the left. That, that's the, not the right, that's the left. Why do I exist? This affront to Gaia, dear readers, is a Halloween offering from Good Time Valley's own Celtic warlock, Arlen Ferrabi. While not torturing his neighbors with marathon bagpipe practicing sessions, Arlen creates 3D art and shares it with his fellow Good Time citizens pro bono. We'd consider that admirable if he wasn't also inflicting irreversible psychological trauma in the pro- That's mean. Come on now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Update. Arlen found our article, had a personal meltdown, and removed his Halloween page. Don't take these things so hard, Arlen. We're just pulling your hairy Celtic leg. We've uploaded Arlen's glorious desktop wallpaper in the name of Digital Preservation. Downloading Arlen Halloween. And these guys are so fucking mean. I mean, I get that it's the point of what they do, but man. But man. Don't even let me report them. They do have an official headband. Okay. I was worrying that this was also, like, somehow someone at Merchant Soft fucking doing this, and I was like, Ugh! Ugh! Turns out the Hypnospace headquarters are also a cab. I mean, I, I feel like that was pretty, pretty plainly obvious when our first mission was, hey, go to this, like, school teacher's page and report all of the drawings that her children did of, uh, like, a, ch a children's cartoon character. <laughs> like, as, as much as I hate that, that slimy fuck gumshoe gooper, uh, this is very clearly immediately out the gate and supposed to make you think, hmm, perhaps the moderation standards and, uh, the, you know, the standards in general of, of Hypnospace and Merchant Soft, uh, not so great. Dumpster is definitely inspired by something awful. Oh god, yeah, that's like, that, that, that's like pretty, pr pretty plain to see. <laughs> World's worst HSM shutdown. Hey, Alistar, hope you're doing well today. 
HSM is Merchant Soft's proprietary sample-based music format. It was designed by non-musicians to save bandwidth by triggering samples that come pre-installed with HypnoS. HSMs can only be made using HypnoSpace Tune Sequencer, a free software package for Flamingo S. The accessibility of the software has resulted in a plague of unlistenable trash music from amateur composers the world over. Please put your ears together for the world's worst HSM showdown! Downloading Pizza Dance, 7. Downloading Pizza Dance, 8. Downloading Pizza Dance, 9. Downloading Pizza Dance, 10. Downloading Pizza Dance, 11. Downloading Pizza Dance, 12. Downloading Pizza Dance, 13. Downloading Pizza Dance, 14. The latest inexplicable craze to Downloading hit Teentopia. Pizza Dance, pizza dance shot HSM is annoying, but Downloading we're not sure if it's eligible dance, to win, 16. simply because most people know it's an Downloading awful, awful song. Dance, its popularity is a direct result Downloading of what coupling dance, with that dancing 18. pizza animation. With no Downloading credited composer, dance, we're going to chalk this one up to being a marketing ploy and leave Downloading it alone. Pizza dance, 20. Cold Snap. Xmazemedley.hsm Downloading cold snap underscore smazmedley. All of my pizza dances are here. All of my pizza dances are here. Right where I want them. Right where I want them. Music file added to Toonbox library. Ah, cool punk. Once an underground music genre slash art movement, now a hollow fad among Philosophy 101 students. This song is an attempt at a danceable Christmas medley by a person who, as far as we can tell, doesn't actually know how to write music. It contains plenty of chowder man, from the Grace Peak jingle, cool punk kids are bonkers over it, and ho 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 samples. But the music on offer is so, so bad. I don't know what these fuckers are talking about. This rules. <laughs> cool punk fucking rules. Thank you, Flam, for the 613 sub. I appreciate it. I love this Grant Kirko fast tune. I can't see it because I don't have a face cam or anything, but I am fucking bobbing along to this. I am dancing. I am jamming. Oh. <laughs> That's the tradition. You enjoy one song, then you get a single granny cream. <laughs> Gil Cybercog Circus HSM. Downloading Gil Cyber Cog Circles. Yep, open the this .hsm sounds like the result of a Give a Monkey Hypnospace Tune Sequencer experiment. This whole feature could have easily been only songs made by Gil, but we're cutting the fellow a break since he's at least honest about his lack of musical ability. It doesn't stop him from pumping out tracks like Cyber Cog Circus, though. It's almost charming. Love how your GDQ run of this had you goofing off with Granny Cream because chat demanded it. Oh yeah, I forgot you did do a GDQ run of this game, didn't didn't you? I like that's like specifically one of the couple of runs that I like went out of my way to not watch because I wanted to go into this game spoiler free. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that out uh, once I'm done the game because uh, I have heard some friends say that it's like fucking incredible. Also, if you'll forgive me for. Uh, if you'll forgive me for putting you on the spot for a second, I am, like, a huge fan of, like, a lot of your runs, so it... It... I don't know, it makes me happy to see you here. Thanks for tuning on in. <laughs> Listen, sometimes the best speed runs are the worst to follow and the hardest to follow. <laughs> sometimes all you need to see is, like, flashing colors and shapes and text on your screen, uh, for... minutes at a time and just go, I don't know what that was, that was awesome. <laughs> I'm just thinking about GDQ. 
I think I've talked about this before a couple times. I've thought about, uh... Oh shit! Thanks for that anonymous gift sub to Listar. That's very generous of you. A couple of times I've thought about uh, applying to be like a... Like a, like a donation reader, announcer type of thing. Uh, probably not this coming one or like any of the 2022 ones. But I'm still thinking about it. Maybe someday. <laughs> Could be fun. Uh, that's everything on this page. The Archive. By Mo Dem. There's nothing here. There's no old junk here. It's empty. A few tricks you should know if you apply. Ah, good to know. I will probably uh, hit you up at some point then when I get around to, like, giving it more serious consideration. That's good to know, though. Thank you. By modem. Ah, like modem. I get it. I've, I've had a couple people uh, offhand just tell me they think that I would be good, uh, a good fit for... for like a GDQ, like announcer, just because like I, I have a penchant for just liking to read out lots of inane text. So, <laughs> you know, I've thought about it. It does also sound fun. I do also like reading out lots of text. So, looking for people for their hotfix stuff recently. I I almost forget they do the hotfix stuff. Like every now and then I'll tune in and I'll be like, yeah, this is great. I should try and catch more of these. And then like, either um, I'm busy or I forget. But <laughs> I, I've been looking into, like, uh, wanting to do more just, like, uh, like voice work stuff, whether that's, like, voice acting or, um, like, like audiobook or, like, announcement stuff. Uh, you know, I, I've, I've been known to enjoy it. Uh, looking, l looking at my seven and a half hour stream where I just read nothing but the Wikipedia article and smiling serenely. But, you know, it's, it's... It's something what's been on my mind for a little bit. Reggie Paul's home! Reggie is online. Welcome to Reggie Paulson's home on Hypnospace. Having a great week. I hope you all are having one too. I have also done multiple streams where I just read an end user license agreement, haven't I? I've been wanting to do another one of those! <laughs> Do you ever just say something out loud, out loud and realize that your life is just fully a fucking comedy? <laughs> 56 years old from Costa Mesa. Ca Proud of our boys in the army. My utmost respect to you and your sacrifice. That was me last night when my keyboard died. <laughs> Not going to shame you, but you, the stream again, will kill you. Okay, die then. Welcome to Reggie's page. Welcome to Reggie's page. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's Reggie here. I'm finally on this thing. Not an Amish guy anymore, I guess, so now my kids can't make fun of me. If you don't know me, I am happily married to Shelly, and we have three beautiful children. Yippee! Until later. Until later. Write me a message. How do I move my page to Good Time Valley? No offense to you all, but I am not a communist, so I would like to go there. <laughs> ah, ow! I, like, laughed so hard and jerked so suddenly in my seat that I felt something in my back crack. <laughs> this is sad. If you don't know what these are, your team is as good as dead. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. It wasn't, like, serious pain. It was just like, oh, man, I felt something in my back, like, physically crack, huh? <laughs> you know how it is with bones. I got bad bones in general, so that's... Uh, I don't know if I should preface this by saying fortunately or unfortunately, but it is a frequent occurrence. Also, yes, the, the, the shonkers are just fully... Uh, the, the T-nubs fully are just... Uh, they do just look like tampons. Shocking teen-ups is the new teen drug trend hitting the streets. Talk to your teens before it's too late. Check out Bobbo's homepage. Hmm. We could buy the meat, but I'm a little strapped for cash right now. I hate 
that every time I look at this, it does make me actually want a hot dog. I don't even have hot dogs. I don't even have hot dogs right now, and I want one. Fuck! That's fucked. That's not allowed. That's illegal. SC6 audio software. Could buy the meat, but I'm a little strapped for cash right now. Me <laughs> crunchy shopping. Listen, the 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 economy is in shambles. Bro, time to get my game on. Know what I'm saying? A fascinating prismatic spectrum of sound. The SCG. Is the SCG or SC6? I'm not sure. Um. Been meaning to bring this up, but there are services where you can get custom keycaps printed. You mentioned something about getting a Peppa Pig themed keyboard last stream. Thought I'd mention the option. It's funny you mentioned that because literally uh, today in like a group chat I'm in, unprompted, unbeknownst to them, and completely unrelated to my Peppa Pig incident last night. Um, for anyone that wasn't in my stream last night, um, I had I had like mused about wanting to get and play the Peppa Pig game because I think that would be funny. But the game is like 45 bucks Canadian before tax, and I'm not willing to drop that much money for a joke. Uh, my sister was in chat, though, and my sister was like, you know, I'm willing to drop that much money for your bit. And so I have to play the Peppa Pig game in September because she's getting it, not September, December, uh, because she's coming over and giving it to me as an early Christmas gift. So... <laughs> And there was also the joke about how, because my keyboard was dying, I needed to get a new keyboard, and I was like, well, I, I guess I gotta look for a new keyboard, and then my sister jokingly said something like, what if I get you a Peppa Pig keyboard? Which, you know, isn't a thing, but, um, <laughs> then, uh, I was just, like, looking through, uh, one of my group chats, and, like, someone was sharing, um, like, custom keycaps. And one of them was straight up just like Peppa Pig, and I was just like, What the fuck? What the fuck? It's all connected. It all comes together. And I had a genuine fear moment in the morning. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, um... I do have to stream Peppa Pig in December. I think she said she's coming to visit early December. And I do have to stream uh, Bros for the Atari 800 again on April 25th, 2022, because the magic crystal ball in this game told me I had to. <laughs> don't get sucked into the keyboard world, don't worry, I'm not yet. Um, I would like to invest into like a nice mechanical keyboard someday. I'm not doing that, like, right now or anytime soon, because, um, I have to move eventually, and that's probably going to entail moving across the country, and I would rather like it if I didn't have to worry about an expensive piece of hardware possibly fucking breaking, uh, during said move, so, like, I'm probably just going to get myself another relatively inexpensive keyboard for the time being, and then, like, once I've got a move sorted... Uh, and I've got, like, an actual physical space I can live in where I can once again consider, like, getting myself things and having things. Then I'll be like, hmm, maybe if I have the money for it, I should get myself a, a mechanical keyboard. Never escape if you fall into the keyboard hole. Oh, don't worry, I'm aware. That's why I'm waiting to fall into the hole. <laughs> I can be responsibly irresponsible, I can. Probably. A fascinating prismatic spectrum of sound. The SCG soundscape generator will change your sleep time experience. Enjoy our free spooky soundscape available now. Yep, that does seem to just be another using this headband ID. So that seems to just be like an eternal one for like people that work uh, for Hypnospace. So it's, it's not necessarily that that one guy with the secret um, with the secret tips and tricks is running all these accounts. It's just that it's like a, a brand uh, one, I think. Holly, your laugh is wonderful and sing songy. Oh, <laughs> that's oh, that's sweet of you to say. <laughs> I went from like being uh, super self-conscious and embarrassed about my laugh for fucking years to like in the past couple of years just being like, no, what the fuck was I talking about and thinking about? It's great, actually. It's awesome. Actually, I'm delightful, it turns out. 
The SCG Soundscape Generator will change the way you experience sleep time. Immerse yourself in the sounds of exotic rainforests, faraway beaches, calming eastern temples, and even fantastic alien landscapes. SCG Soundscape Generator produces sounds by utilizing advanced algorithms, fine-tuned to the intricacies of the human ear. The SCG Soundscape Generator is completely free and comes with the SCG underscore Temple Soundscape Bank, developed exclusively for HypnoS. Please note, SCG Soundscapes generate sound dynamically based on your HypnoS input. After turning soundscapes on, you may not hear much initially. This is normal! Minimize soundscape as you continue to use HypnoS. Just in time for Halloween! Download our free spooky soundscape bank. Close and reopen SCG Soundscape Generator after installing soundscape banks to use them. There's also the mystery and the secret forest ones for 22 each. Which I can't get yet, but... Downloading soundscape setup. Downloading SCG underscore spooky. Alright, let's check those downloads. Yippee! Where was our other one? Where was our other one? Uh, it's it's disappeared. It's it's moved. There we go. Open the soundscape generator to try your new soundscape. Music file added to Toonbox library. Squishers, like that was that was nothing. That was child's play. Uh, I did that like it was nothing with my eyes closed. Collecting all twenty rare pizza dances. Now that's something only a real legend can do. By the way, I may download another later. All the squishers. The thing about table drinking pina coladas. I'll listen to that later. I already listened to that. The thing about how I play video games. Thank you, Rosa Rosso, for giving a gift out to pizza. I play video games very slowly and very thoroughly. <laughs> you know, uh, Final Fantasy XIV, uh, the critically acclaimed MMO, etc., etc. You all know the joke of that saying that. Um, you know, normally you get that game, you like pick a class you like, you play through the campaign, and then you get through like all the story stuff. Uh, I played through that game by uh, leveling every class available to me 250 before finishing A Realm Reborn. I'm, I'm in the free trial still? No! What? What are you talking about? I have like thousands of hours and I'm almost caught up on Shadowbringers. No! <laughs> Fucking end game rating in 5.0. <laughs> I am not in the free trial. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Let me check exactly how many hours. Uh, according to Steam. Uh, 2,654 and a half hours in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and I will say probably a good uh, thousand of that, maybe, maybe, was uh, when I was like taking a break from, from college. And so I just wanted something to do for a couple of months. Uh, I decided, you know what? I'm going to like 
get on like an exercise routine, I'm going to eat better, and then I'm going to treat Final Fantasy XIV like it's a job that doesn't pay me. Uh, and so I leveled up every combat class available in A Realm Reborn to 50. I leveled up every gatherer class to 50. I leveled up every crafter to 50. And this was long before the like rework to uh, the crafting classes. This was long before that. This was back when they were, like, janky and you had to level all of them to get the cross-class skills so that you could play any of them, like, reasonably well. And crafting is a large part of why I have that many hours in it. And, uh... I will be honest, I did spend a lot of that crafting time either just, like, watching something on another monitor or just, like, like hanging out with friends and doing other things because, like, the crafting is very good for, like, keep your hands busy while you do something else. You have the constitution of medieval monks! <laughs> Listen, there's a reason why uh, Wayne and a couple other friends are always constantly like, I can't believe you have the like streaming stamina you do, where you end up doing so many long streams for so long. And it's, the reason for that is because I'm just like this in general. If I commit to something, I commit real long. <laughs> Looking at my seven and a half hour sandwich stream and smiling serenely. <laughs> Holly reading him an echo? I've genuinely considered it. And I want to at some point. I don't know if I'm going to stream it, but I want to. Uh, I want to, like, read it at the very least. Uh, Howard's Life Tricks. Please stop sending me hypno coins. To everyone else, welcome. Please enjoy my many helpful life tricks. Stop sending money! Stop sending me hypno coins. Stop sending me hypno coins. Stop sending me hypno coins. Come on now, folks. Stop it with the hypno coins. <laughs> Don't, Nate. Stop sending money. Howard Hewson, 46 years old. Crystal Peaks, neurodivergent. Hi, Hypnospace citizens. In case it wasn't obvious, my name is a joke. Please stop sending me hypno coins one at a time because my message inbox keeps filling up and it is very hard to read. Oh, I just realized their account name is Send Me Money One. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> if you are doing this to be nice, thank you, but please stop. If this is some kind of practical joke, it is not funny. And now. Back to our regular and scheduled programming. Welcome to Howard's Life Tricks. Please enjoy these life tricks I've picked up in my short 47 years on this planet. Cooking tricks! Cooking trick number one. Ever short on time but want to scrambled eggs? Worry not. Throw one or two eggs in a microwavable bowl, add a tablespoon or so of milk, and mix with a fork. Put your microwave on medium power and heat for one to two minutes. Keep an eye on them so they don't explode! Cooking trick number two. Buy frozen dinners. <laughs> Cooking trick number one. Oh, no, I wanted Ever to short see... On no, time. Hang on, sorry, bud. I didn't mean to make you jump the gun like that. I wanted to click on the rotating faces. Uh, I'm, I'm not one to judge food-wise. I reckon uh, food is best enjoyed however you personally like it, as long as you're eating something that won't literally kill you. Uh, the thought of microwaved scrambled eggs uh makes my skin crawl i that doesn't sound like a pleasant textural or taste experience to me <laughs> no no thank you i will pass i will, I will pass on microwave eggs <laughs> it will probably also explode so <laughs> Camping tricks. Camping trick number one. When you first arrive at the park, 
look at all the other empty campsites to see if they have any leftover wood. Sometimes you won't even need to buy any. Camping trick number two. Meet your camp neighbors as soon as possible. Not only is this just a nice thing to do, but it helps to know the people who are soon going to catch you peeing in the woods. Ho ho ho! Microwave scrambled eggs on a tortilla with hot sauce as a staple to you? I mean, I'm not gonna judge. Far be it from me to judge. I'm the woman who sometimes eats peanut butter with raw onions, so, like, I'm in no position to be like, wow, that's gross, how are you eating that? Just, like, I wouldn't want to try it myself, I suppose. Family tricks. Family trick number one. Talk to your family. I know it sounds simple, but it was hard for me to learn. <laughs> Just casually not looking at the chat. I always wanted them to call me first while they were waiting for me to make the first move. This is a ridiculous game! Just call! God, every time I bring up the fucking peanut butter and onion thing, it always surprises me how many people haven't heard me say that before. <laughs> at least you don't eat microwave flour and water in a cup? Who does that? Who on earth would do that? Smiles. Smiles. Who would do that? Who in their right mind would try and do that? Smiles. <laughs> if if you've not heard about the the the, the water and, and flour in a cup in the microwave thing, I'm not gonna put them on blast, but it's it's something a friend of mine has talked about before. <laughs> Post your smilers in the chat if you got them. Office tricks. Office trick number one. Do your work in an office where they make you work unreasonably long hours, or ask you to risk your health or safety for a job-related task? Consider forming a union. There's a neat group in Hypnospace called the Workers' Alternative to learn more about this kind of thing. Oh, that's cool. I do appreciate this dude just being like, Stop sending me single Hypnocoin dominations in my inbox. Also, by the way, join your local union. That rules. I love this guy. Send me money one as my new best friend. <laughs> Trip, tricks, tips, cooking, eggs, scrambled, money, microwave, camping, family, no money, don't send money, hypnocoin. <laughs> so what have we learned uh, on today's stream? Don't click suspicious links, number one. Number two, if you get a virus, you can fix it. Number three, uh, people trying to ask you for real money on the internet sometimes is a scam. Uh, number four, uh, simply report scammers. Number five, I am report everyone, so you best behavior. Number six, um, scrambled eggs in the microwave. You can do it, but maybe you shouldn't. Uh, number seven, join your local union. Number eight, I have to play bros for the Atari 800 again on April 25th, 2022. Do not send Howard money. Be nice to Howard. <sighs> it's 10.51. Uh, my throat's getting a little scratchy. When is the next Claymates stream? What do you mean the next Claymates stream? I finished Claymates. I played the entirety of Claymates in one sitting and only needed a little bit of help from a friend to take the controller from me for a little bit. I'm done, Claymates. I've done my time. I might learn to speedrun it, though. No promises. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Every now and then, I, like, boot up my Switch, and then I look longingly at, um, the fucking, the fucking SNES online and think about Claymates, and I'm just like, Oh, sweet and merciful lord, I'm about to learn to play, play this game in speedrunner, aren't I? And then, like, I feel the power of God just, like, wrench me away from my controller. Wee, 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 wee. You having fun there, bud? And then I, like, play Picross again or something. <laughs> Please look forward to me uh, in 2027 at uh, GDQ main stage, where I will be uh, speedrunning Claymates and then Jelly Boy back to back, uh, immediately followed by me uh, speedrunning Bomboozle as well. Um, maybe I shouldn't make promises I don't intend to keep. 
I, I do intend to keep the bros one. I don't know about this one. <laughs> when is the rock, paper, scissors stream? I will say this much. I will say this much. On the one hand, do not expect a rock, paper, scissors stream. On the other hand, I might have something fun to announce soon. And I can't really say more without just giving it away. Uh. How about a hint? No. Granny cream, hot butter ice cream. We take the hot butter, mix it with the ice cream. Freeze it up, cool, you can see it on your screen. Put it in your microwave, make it real hot like a soup or a dip. We call it heat. Very good. Oh. And healthy too. Granny cream, hot butter ice cream. Wow, Holly. Looks like you're doing a great job at dealing with the bad guys. 124 hypno coin. Not bad. Not bad. We gotta look for uh more violations of malicious software at some point, I suppose, but not really seen too too many. And then uh next time, I suppose. Be looking into illegal content. This is an illegal content notice regarding disturbing, violent, and pornographic images that may be in any zone. Please look for violations and utilize your enforcement tool to report and remove them. I should probably make, um... Another note here for things to look into, but I'm not sure what else I can really look into. What, was there anything I said that I wanted to look into next time, aside from uh, the Hamter thing? Because it's already on, already on one of these. Um. Oh yeah. Uh. Um, we did this one already. Uh, Yeah. Thank you, the gay Avery. For the 16 months. Exclamation mark six months. I've been stuck in hypnospace for 16 months. That's okay, that's normal. Uh it's normal if the headset never comes off. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Actually, it's fine. Actually, it's totally fine. Don't worry about it. I think that's good. I think that's good as far as uh, things to remember go. Okay. I didn't click on that, but... I, uh, guess that'll do it for now.
Let's log off Hypno S. And that's Hypnospace Outlaw. Thank you all very much for tuning in. I was about to say, um, sorry for not doing a much longer stream, but I am realizing now it's like almost 11 at night, so uh, I suppose that is fairly long as far as streams can go. <laughs> I mean, I've done longer, and I, but I didn't go until midnight or anything like that, but... Uh, You know, uh, that's, uh, it's going to be it for now. Let me check to see if we've got any, uh, fan art to show off. We've got a couple of things. I'm going to check real quick to see if there's anything on, uh, on Twitter as well. So there's some folks just like sharing it on, uh, on, on on Twitter instead of the Discord. So let me just double check there. Just a moment. Uh, excuse me, I had a hiccup. At least one, but it might already be in uh, the Discord, so. I'll just have that open just in case. Get a drink of water. Put some music on. Sure, let's go with Huge Pillar. And I will take a look at some fan art that folks drew. This one here. I actually should show this one off because this was from posted earlier today from Grape Soda Satellite. He said, watching some of the, an airport for aliens currently run by dogs fods. Uh, for those not in the know, uh, the narrative designer of Hypnospace Al Outlaw, uh, Xavier Nelson Jr. Uh, also made another game called An Airport for Aliens Currently Run by Dogs. And it's fucking great. And I streamed through all of it. And you should buy it and play it yourself. It was one of my favorite games of this year. It's really, really good. Go check it out. Anyways. <laughs> Watch some of the VODs and Holly sure does skate around most maps, throwing guitars at everything, which makes her the coolest person alive. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say, thank you. Also, the picture is real cool. I saw this, like, basically today after I finished my workout and just opened up my phone and was like, oh, someone posted a nice thing for me, nice. Uh, oh, yeah, uh... As uh, Savorix, to Savorix, Savorix, one of those. Uh, apologies for butchering your fucking name, but uh, yeah, uh, Chatterman is just straight up like voiced and played by Hot Dad. Uh, you should check him out. He does some cool music. This one's from MC Skitters. He says, "I'm so proud of this creation. I love MS Paint so much." Oh my butt. <laughs> Thank you for putting the criminal behind Band. Thank you for getting rid of him. The internet can sleep safer now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you very much. These are very cute. Got this one here from Grape Soda Satellite. That's good, right? <laughs> I'm realizing this is a thing that I say a lot. <laughs> ah, also, this is really cute. I love the I love the way this is framed with all the like 
the everything anywhere. <laughs> I didn't really explain that very good now that I think about it, but... <laughs> oh, this is real cute. Thank you very much. I love this a whole lot. From Roachification? They don't even fucking pay her. Oh god, the Dr. Coomer edit. I'll be honest, I... <laughs> I was kind of having that thought myself of seeing the, like, awful old man just pop up and be like, Well, I'm here to help you! And I just had the thought of, like, oh god, oh god, they let Dr. Coomer out on the internet, but they let him into fucking hypnospace instead by accident. Oh god. <laughs> I did totally have that thought. <laughs> so, you know, make of that what you will, I suppose. I, I suppose being a, like, a, a Professor Helpy type of add-on seems in character. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even pay me! God, these are cute little doodles too. Thank you very much, I love these. This one here from Eagle Full Metal. April! Oh, it's her good friend April, who we love! I am really hoping that I'm gonna be able to afford April next stream, but I also really, really want to give my Hypno Coin to the... To, to, to the please give me money so I can go on a, on a boat guy. I need to give them my money. They need it much more than I do right now. But I do want to get April back and get a, get a food tree so that April won't fucking die. I'm sorry, April. I just couldn't afford you. I didn't realize what a responsibility you would be. Someday we'll be reunited. <laughs> Thank you. This is cute. We got this one from Unofficially Jam. Soon, the brothers will return in six months. This is a warning. This is a threat. This is a promise. We got this one here from Moxie. <laughs> He says, bunch of stuff I drew for Holly's stream today. <laughs> oh man, you drew the fucking orb. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you captured my amazement over the fucking gauntlet. I do love the fucking gauntlet. <laughs> I, I also do like the idea that be like you would see like a BB type of picture on fucking Hypnospace, just like a gift somewhere. I I think I think the BB animal is extremely uh, extremely uh, a Hypnospace type of animal picture. These are real cute. Thank you very much. I just noticed the like the eye and the the the, the, the star from the from the Squishers page. <laughs> Great. Someone could make a BB page. Someone could make a BB mod. That's entirely possible. You could do that for Hypnospace. That's a thing what you can do for it. We got this one here from Candy, who says, didn't get to finish coloring this, but oh well. Get his ass. When I see Gumshoe Gooper, it's on sight. Someone's got to keep the internet safe from his tyranny. Man, I love... I love the, like, the... The way this, like, flows... The, like the the hair and just like the movement of this all this is this is a really good picture oh thank you candy i love this a lot <laughs> now i'm just thinking about the fucking roblox janice video <laughs> when i see janice it's on site we really jumped her bitch ass <laughs> floored it so i guess they spelled that as flued it in that video didn't they god what a video Anyways, this picture. Thank you. <laughs> and we got this one here from HRAB. <laughs> the face! The face! <laughs> That's how I feel whenever I see Gumshoe Gooper, the wet fuck. <laughs> Somebody get this illegal son of a bitch out of here. <laughs> also, the dancing is real cute. Hell yeah. I love the, like, 
the like the hazy wavy patterns of the brain waves for the headset. That's really good. This is so good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I believe that's gonna do it for our fan art showcase, because the one that I did see on Twitter earlier was one that we saw during that. Thank you all very much for all the art tonight. I am, like, constantly and consistently uh, blown away by your uh, artistic talent. And it makes me... I don't know, it makes me happy that you would be willing and wanting to share that with me, I suppose, so... Thank you very much. Uh, my throat's a little hoarse, so I might just keep the, the, the outro a little brief. But, um... I hope you enjoyed the stream tonight. I know I sure did. Um, very, very glad to be getting deeper into Hypnospace again. I was worried that I would, you know, after not playing it for a couple of weeks, like, either be super lost, or, like, I don't know, like, I would have forgotten how to play, or I would have lost the magic somehow for some reason, but, uh... I'm having a great time with this. Uh, I am excited to chew through even more of this, and now that I've, like gone through, like, the big backlog that I have of, like, uh, pages that I haven't looked through yet and pages that I only briefly look through and stuff like that, we can probably make a little more progress getting through more stuff now, especially now that I've got some ideas for, like, oh, I should check this out. Oh, I should look more into this. Oh, what does this mean? Like, it's, it's exciting. It's, like, this is, like, the same feeling of, like, uh, excitement and, like, discovery and just, like, wonder that uh, I had when I was playing, uh, at her wilds, and I am just, I am just, ooh, I'm giddy. I'm excited thinking about getting to dive even deeper into this and getting to find out more stuff. It's, game is good. I really like it. I definitely see why so many people have been singing the game's praises for so many years, uh, and I am very glad that I absolutely agree with all of those praises so far. <laughs> very good, very, very good. Um, thank you all very much for tuning in. Thank you all for the support tonight. Thank you for all the subs, all the tips, all the bits. Your generosity really does mean a whole lot to me. So I really do appreciate it. Um, you know, I guess like with the example of the, the keyboard yesterday, like I'm not uh, in dire financial straits or anything like that. And uh, when my keyboard kicked the bucket, uh, I was able to, like, be like, yeah, I have the funds to be able to justify, like, getting a replacement. And, like, that is entirely because of the support of, like, people like you. So, if you've ever, you know, tipped the stream in some way or subbed or anything like that, or if you've ever even just thought about doing it, you know, just... Thanks a whole lot. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thanks for all of the hosts and raids we had today. Thank you for all the follows we had. Thank you to any of the new viewers that stopped on by. I saw there were a couple of you. Always wonderful to have new folks here. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you around again some other time. Uh, thank you to anyone who shared the stream around. Thank you to anyone who took any clips and shared theirs around. Thank you, uh, again for all the fan art. Always do love to see that. And, uh, you know, Thank you very much for tuning in. Whether you were only here for a little bit, uh, or you were here for the entire stream, whether you only hopped on at the start, or you only made it here around the end, whether you've been uh, lurking in the chat, or you've been talking with your fellow viewers, uh, whether you're catching this live or checking out the VOD, you know, it's always wonderful to have you here in whatever ways and for however long uh, you can manage, so. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to spend it here with us. Oh, the music got extreme for a second. I thought that song was going to be playing for a while longer, and so I could keep up with something down-tempo like that. Uh, <laughs> no, then it started playing the Kirby metal. Maybe I should just play the goodbye themes. <laughs> there we go. That's a little more, uh, in the spirit of things, I suppose. <laughs> I'm gonna be live again 
tomorrow. Uh, you will find me on my friend Sox's stream. Me and Sox and Sophie are going to be doing some more Mario Sunshine. Uh, and I will be eating pasta tomorrow to ensure that Sox's internet doesn't die again. And that's a promise. Uh, and then after that, I will probably do a short stream of my own and play through a little puzzle game. Because that sounds like a fun thing to do. Uh, and then Wednesday is Moonglow Bay, because Moonglow Bay is out tomorrow, but I won't be able to play it tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to be doing more Sloys! More Sloys on Tuesday! And then, because I won't be able to play it tomorrow, on Wednesday I'm going to be playing Moonglow Bay. That's a, a voxel-based fishing RPG that's that I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time, and I'm very excited to finally be able to play it. Uh, I'll do a short stream on Thursday of a bit of Sable. And then we'll be hosting on over to Scorpy Stream for some more VHS viewings. Because it's that time of the month. And then I'll be playing some Doom 3 on Friday. And then over the weekend, well, it's Halloween. I'm sure you'll find some way to keep yourself entertained during Halloween. <laughs> I know I will. <laughs> maybe I'll see you in one of those streams. Or maybe I'll see you around some other time. Oh, I forgot to do a raid. Is there anyone we can raid tonight? Let me give a quick look at who's live. There are a lot of people live, huh? Oh, I got choice paralysis. Oh, I think... I think maybe this is just going to be one of those nights where I call the stream and y'all can find somewhere else to disperse to. Uh, in that case, we're going to raid shrimps. <laughs> Consider this your... Uh, thanks for stopping on by. Feel free to hop off for the evening then. If there's another stream you want to go to, feel free to organize your own little unofficial raids. Uh, but, you know, other than that, see you when I see you. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and taking care of the folks around you. And I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>